Yep, I'll take it. everybody to the St. Paul Curling Club. We're on draw seven, sheet five. Okay. Dennis. I'm joined here by uh, Dennis. He just uh, introduced himself to his neighbor because that's the kind of social guy he is. Now, I, I introduced myself because he's got all kinds of information okay. on both these teams, so I'm going to use him throughout the game to, uh, to keep us posted. Roving commentary. Yeah, see, the uh, the skip is already giving them the high, the high sign down here, and uh, so obviously he's tied in and, and knows... Uh, Knows the uh, the ins and outs of these teams, so we can right, we can pull some good information early. off of him and no, keep things lively. All right, so do we know what happened? No, who's got? I I did was not watching. Sorry, did you have some notice? No. That's the problem when you're socialized. <laughs> <laughs> I rely on somebody to be you know, okay. More okay. On top of their game. All right. Obvi me. Obviously, uh, we uh, from here on out. We one more time with your name, Nick. Nick. All right, guys. Okay. Yeah, you even didn't Nick. even do the socializing. I got. I got. I just. I just trying to make sure I got it right. Hey, Nick. I'm Chris. Oh, this is Chris. Yeah. If you want to sit next to me instead of Dennis. Uh, yeah, and he wants to stay on this side. He, I, got, I got my source right over here. All right. So I'll. All right. So the guys, the, the guys and uh, so you know this guy looks here. Looks like Wilbur one. is yellow. Wilbur is yellow and uh, Hodek is red. And uh, red has the hammer. Correct. You are. Very well. Very, very well oh said. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're on top you of know, it I've now. I've curled for a couple of years yeah. now. Yeah. Just uh, these things going on. Nice that you could catch up so quickly and get our audience back on top of the game. Well, it happened as soon as I brought those little mini crowns yeah. over here. Five, six. So today we're uh, curling. Uh, we're not curling on sheet one. We're doing two through seven. I'm not sure why that is. But those outside sheets can sometimes be a little bit tricky here. That yeah, could be the rain and the moisture and stuff like that. So that they well, decided to They had it in the draw, though, a while ago. Okay. So here we go. I really like... Uh, Wilberg's team, uh, there's this one sweeper that's got a nice button-down plaid with leather arm patches. I yeah. think it's a really good look. <laughs> From the 1970s, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I was, Take born, boys. I was born in the 70s. Oh, there you go. Pro the 70s produced a lot of goodness. There you go. Okay, so drop one right. Uh, yeah, a little heavy. Okay. A little heavy, but in the house. Yeah. Well, they're probably Let's just trying to. On the back. Okay. So I'm not, normally I go down and I verify because there, there's some people that come and go. So these might not be 100% correct. I'd come right from work curling zone. But uh, uh, for Team Wilberg, the lead is Richard Markle. The second is Ryan Kanoski. Third is Dwayne Jacobson. And skip is Willie Wilberg. And then the Hodex squad, the lead is Ethan Sampson. The second is John Lindgren. Third is Skylar Slusser, and the fifth, or the fifth, the skip is Timothy Bodak. Boy, this is a change of pace from our last game. Here we're going for, yeah. they, they put a house, and they're taking it out right away. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is, uh, this is old school. Same thing, Richard. Yeah, I think so. some, sometimes uh, teams like, like, have that strategy, though. Like they keep, like to keep that first stand clean because uh, they just kind of want to warm up into the game. Yeah, They yeah. don't want to jump into anything too aggressive. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes good sense. So Wisconsin versus North Dakota. Look out. This could be big. In Minnesota. In Minnesota. Look for 5-6. Yep, you can go, guys. I you notice the, le the lead on Wilbur's yep, keep going. squad has an uh, interesting uh, foot slider. Yeah. Okay. Wait, it's like a piece of a foam quicker? on the top of his laces. Right. Wait, just uh, come off of that. Yeah. Okay. You know, I do that, don't I? Do when you do okay. you come out of the hack, do you leave your foot and yep. you leave your foot back. Yeah. Right? In fact, um, my I need new shoes because the side of my shoe I, uh, is all worn down. So there you go. Maybe he's decided that he doesn't want to buy new shoes. He's going to protect that uh, protect it a bit. So Ethan Sampson delivers his next rock. Okay. A 
bit strong as well. I think the ice is uh, a little faster than these guys were. Yeah. We're looking for. I see Todd Burr out there on uh, on sheet four. Yeah. Uh, playing against uh, was that um, Fenson? Pete yeah, Fenson. Pete Fenson, right? Keep yeah. the weight up. That's I've enjoyed uh, calling Pete. Um, Pete. He's a nice guy, and he's <laughs> fun to he's fun to curl. He's got a really good attitude, actually. You know, um, I think. I guess he curled as long as oh. he's curled. Yep. He's Yep. Probably pretty sanguine on what's going oh. on. You bet. Whoa, whoa. The only, uh, the only American uh, so far to win a medal in the Olympics. Well, wouldn't there be Good three roll. others? Well, true. The only American skip. How's that? There you go. If any of our listeners um, have a dictionary, maybe they can look up sanguine and tell me what it means. <laughs> <laughs> On sheet two, so we're not doing sheet one, but sheet two is uh, Brown versus Andrews Tapera. Sheet three is Koivula versus Rittenauer. Sheet four is Burr and Fenson. Here we have Wilberg and, Wilberg and Hodek. Sheet six is Lecter and McBride. And sheet seven is Sobring and Leclerc. I suppose if, uh, if Todd, Todd's here, then uh, Regan Regan should be here. Yeah, I think I saw Regan downstairs. Oh, there we go. Well. So there's four of the teams that are uh, competing for the Olympic berth here on the men's side. Wow. Four of the five. And so do you okay, know, do you know the bad. names of the uh, of the four? Yeah. Well, so Burr squad just got got green lighted. Uh, they got so they got the fifth spot. Okay. Right. And McCormick, uh, who just won their game yeah. earlier today. And then um, uh, uh, Brady Clark's squad. And uh, my brain my brain is not working at the moment. I'll get the fourth one here when I get the fourth one in my head. Seriously. Hmm. Five, pretty, six. pretty much a keep clean game so far. They've been uh, trading takeouts, but now it looks like we're going to go for a draw on sheet five. Dive, diving fast. I don't think yeah. they're going to make a fast that guard. I might get a little tick off that guard. But I think they'll get that. Oh, good sweeping. Okay. Good okay. sweeping. Yeah, just That's uh, fine. It's not going to make the house yet. No. Yeah. It, it come off quick. I think that was a Wisconsin brogue right there. The way he said it come off quick. Like that. <laughs> they might me. Yes, we did. Yes, sir. Really out? Yep. Oh, oh. Thank you. Cool. All right, not a little nice little hit there, keeping Normal. everything. I just nothing like in the house at this point. Holberg's got one sitting on top of the uh, 12 foot that they're getting ready to take out. across the ice out there but they are going to get that takeout but they'll they'll spit out to the side okay again leaving the house uh house open a couple uh couple lonely guards out in front and a 
on the right-hand side, kind of in a line. And the uh, rest of the sheet is clean at this point. Okay. I don't think you're going to get the double without sticking. Oh, your first one looked good until about five feet before the hog line. Well, I think you're a little in on that one. Got it going. It looks like Wisconsin will... Uh, but, I mean, you're, you're drawn. I'm sorry, the whole deck will so. come back and... Uh, North Dakota will come back and try to clear some more guards. Uh, the two the two guards are hanging there. I just I just clarified. I, like, uh, first I didn't feel comfortable having my brain not work this morning about uh, the four teams that are going to the uh, Olympic uh, uh, playdowns or whatever they call that in Omaha. It's Brown, McCormick, Brady, uh, Brady Clark, and uh, Burke. And then uh, obviously. Just look uh, for a five. Team from Duluth, John Schuster, they're, they're off this weekend. Although Tyler George is playing, uh, he is skipping uh, Bill Stepera's rank. And they were here quite late last night, and I noticed that they Let's had jump around that. an early draw today. Or ah. they didn't have an early draw, so ah. good for them. <laughs> they, knew, they knew that. I was here late, have and I had Andy have an early draw. So good for me. So are we just keeping things clean? Keeping that things clean, pretty much. That's a lot of takeout action. Oh. I got that information from uh, Sean Murray, who. Uh, commentates the Nationals, and the guy knows everything. He's yeah. got a steel trap. Right, I remember talking to him last year at the, this event, actually, and he, uh, he knows his stuff. Yeah, it was a little intimidating when he, when he sat down. Good I job, thought, guys. oh, and Maureen said, oh, you asked him to sit down, never met him before, and I'm like, what you, do we just get benched? Is that <laughs> what happened? <laughs> First string coming in? Yeah, like, well, thank you for getting it set up. But yeah. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Actually, I had the when I when Dean Gemmel was on, I felt that way too because he, uh, you know, he really got into the commentary and so I think I think he's doing uh, I think he's doing the uh, the commentary for the Olympic trials. Okay. And Olympic trials are where again this year? Omaha. Omaxr oh, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Ax Ax Ben. They're in. Uh, no, I think they're at an arena there. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. But uh, some like 8,000 sheet arena, or I can't remember the exact name of it. Yeah. See, now that's something that Me, Sean uh, will tell right you. There. I'll keep the weight I do know that the tickets are between $70 and $90 for the week. Yeah. Which Pete Westberg is going to be down there. I'm thinking I might drive down for the weekend, uh, maybe the, depending on you know, the, the end weekend. I think it would be kind of fun. And what, what weekend is that again? Uh, it's in November. Um, I'm not 100% okay. okay. sure. Okay. A little up. I don't want to lose it in the pebble. We can get a roll under the corner. Get the force here, that'd be good. Looking for a little uh, hit and roll on this one just to kind of keep it clean and uh, hide a little bit behind the guard if you can. Straight on, a little bit of roll, touch a roll. So leaves it uh, still open there for a takeout by the, the North Dakota team, by Hodeck. Have you ever uh, curled in Fargo? Um, I did, uh, not not uh, Bonsfield, but uh, my wife's parents I, um, used yeah. to live out in Fargo for a short time, and so I got out there and, and threw some rocks and uh, saw the club at that point. That was back in... Uh, probably early 90s, uh, so uh, maybe even late, maybe even 80s. So it was a long time ago, and at that point they had a really uh, interesting club. You know, they had the old green shag carpeting, and they had uh, it was it was kind of a dilapidated building. It was it was not not very nice in general. But I understand the new club is uh, is pretty fantastic. So nice uh, nice hit there by 
by uh, Hodek, and they'll end up taking one. Red will take one in the end, and we'll start off with a 1-0 game. But yeah, it was, uh, uh, I haven't seen the new club. Have you? No. Yeah, I've heard the new club is pretty uh, pretty sweet. Have you been up there? Been nice? Yeah. Yeah, so great, great new facility in Fargo. I'll be anxious to get up there and see it at some point. Who, uh, who, who are you just talking to? <laughs> I was talking to Nick. Should get Nick wired up. There we go. We should. He knows everything. He knows things about these teams. Yeah, I probably could. I could probably make that happen. <laughs> there we go. I did find though that uh, when we first did this, we had a whole plethora of people on the mic, and I found it got confusing. Right. Well, I tell you what. Why don't I just uh, uh, when you're when you want me to, I can just pass the headset over to Nick, and he can he can give you some commentary on the on the teams. Oh. So that way it'll just be a, we'll have a, we'll have a as needed type situation. So Nick, why aren't you curling right now? Speaking up. Oh, you're out, you are out there. Ah. How'd you guys do? Got that? Nick was on the uh, early draw out there in sheet one. Oh, again, so you're on, you're on Moore? Yeah. yeah. Four, yeah. five. Horseman. Yeah, you guys were up quite a bit. Yeah. Did you uh, win last night as well? Um, we were actually up one against uh, Tyler George with Hammer. Hey, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, hang on a second. Here, I'll let you, I'll let you have that. Here, well, well. Here, and I'll pass mine over so you can continue the conversation. Yeah, so we're, uh, I don't think, I, I don't know when, uh, are, are you guys on sheet five at all? I I don't think so. I I know we're on sheet three for the two o'clock draw next, and then I'm not sure after when you're that, but. So Nick, what's your last name? Uh, Steinhaus. Steinhaus. Yep. We. That's a, pretty, that's a powerful off, last name, I like that. Oh, yep, it's actually. Does it mean beer house? No, it's actually stone house in German. Yeah, so. Stein. Yep. That's interesting. Yeah. Which is great, okay. being a curler. Yeah, it fits perfectly <laughs> in the sport. Yeah. <laughs> we, yep, but last night we played Tyler George on cheat three, and we were up one with Hammer in the last end. And I watched the end of that. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we made one single shot. There was a lot. Then. Yeah. You were, I think we were you were yellow, right? Yeah. Yeah, there was yep. a lot of red. Yeah, about five five red rocks by the time Josh's last rock came around, so a lot of rocks in play. I didn't actually get to see the, the final conclusion to that. I was somewhere else, and then when I went back, it was all gone, so. Yeah. It, How are you guys sitting? I haven't really been keeping track. I'm going to, at this, this next ice maintenance, I'm going to go down there and meet with uh, uh, the Stoltz, and we're going to put together a game plan of what, you know, where people are as far as bubble and, you know, it's saying like you know, these guys are definitely in. These guys are on the. So do you know how how you guys are doing? Uh, we're we're one and run or one and one right now. Um, I would say we'd have to win this next game to keep our chances alive. We're we're in the pool with Keith McCormick Whoa! and they're Whoa! they're undefeated right now. So we need to so put does a that mean so does two for each pool because they have eight? I think they have eight eight teams are in the first play on Sunday morning. Yeah. Um, so and there's four uh, pools, so it's two from each pool. Yeah, two from each pool. So who else is in that? Um. So uh, McCormick and then uh, Tyler George or Bill Staperos is in there. In Dunham, Dunham, Dunham Horseman. Yep. yep horse. Dunham lost today towards McCormick, and uh, yeah, and you beat Horseman. And Horseman hasn't won. So um, I think Staperos won one. Too, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure how they did last night after they played us. Well, I have their sheet here somewhere. Yeah, but we definitely have to get a couple more wins and uh, hopefully make it the Sunday. So. so you're playing at two? Draw? Yep, two on sheet three against draw, okay. Heath McCormick. Oh, play, uh, yeah. Just play yep. four or five. Good luck. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a... Big game. But big it's pretty fun to play, though, because, uh, I mean, they're kind of an all-star squad. Oh, yeah. I, I think of them as pros. They're, they're, yeah. they're guys I look up to and learn from. 
just take it to juniors and try and learn from their strategies Where? and use it when I play. So if you got in a in a in a bar Mine's fight pretty good. with um, <laughs> Corey cool. Dropkin, oh jeez, yep, and and it was it wasn't actually fighting; it was sweeping. Who do you think would win? Oh jeez, I'd like to think I could win, but I'm sure he could take me. But if you guys just good swept roll. a chunk of ice. Just nonstop until your arms fell off. Who would take off more ice? Oh, Corey for sure. Have you seen his arms? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are some okay. big arms right there. Yeah. Does it remind you of the 70s? Yeah, but Does he might, you, you know, 70s? all that muscle might tuck her out quick. Oh, I, I could hope yeah. so. I mean, I might kick him or so here and there just to like, get him to slow down or something, but yeah. I think that'd be my only chance. All right, so what's going on here? So Wilbrig is shot rock. Looks like they're playing a nice little board hack weight, maybe chip it out in the open a little bit. A little heavy. Yeah, just he was trying to up. he was trying to guide it over there. Yeah, trying to directional sweep it over get it to right curl here. a little bit more. You tap this a bit, that's fine too. I found with that uh, directional sweeping, if you get a certain type of broom head. Oh, it, yeah. That's a joke. <laughs> Not everybody gets my uh, non-humor humor. Line's <laughs> <laughs> uh, close. Got a bend. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Nick. All well, right. That was that was some delightful uh, commentary. Yeah, nice to hear from somebody that's actually in the uh, in the bond steel okay. that uh, that uh, knows what's going on. We'll get them back in again more later on. And in the meantime, uh, looks like Wisconsin uh, Wilbur's got a couple of yellows in the house. They're Josh sitting sitting one two right now, and they. Yeah, so I believe they have the hammer, yesterday. right? Didn't, didn't uh, I think? Could you write a sign for them? They want to communicate. They're not going for the double. It's interesting, uh, this team on uh, sheet six uh, is McBride, which has been, always been over in one to three, and I haven't seen them yet. I was, I was like, you would think that now it's draw seven. I would have seen all the teams, but yeah. it's like I don't recognize those guys. Huh. Nice shot. I wonder if he's going to go for the double. Yeah. I don't know if the double, well, I suppose the double was there, but it would be a very skinny double. I think he's more concerned about uh, jamming, jamming that yellow on that red. Still a lot of space on this side to get that yellow. Yeah, these guys are definitely not a draw type uh, at this point. Anyway, they're not definitely not playing a draw type of game. They are takeouts and hits and rolls, and they're not they're not messing around with the uh, not uh, messing around with the draw game with at this finesse. Point. Yeah, no. Uh, they're finessing the heavy shots. Whoa! Got a bend. Run sheet four, stomp and okay, Tom O'Connor just did a nice draw. They're all lined up there for Team Burr. <coughs> Defense and though is gonna call for that to get taken out. Yeah, so now they're gonna try to get this one out. Looks like a good rock. It's got to come over. Starting to move. It's got, it's nice got a good amount of force. That's a very nice shot. It's going to get a little uh, little roll here, maybe. Oh, could have beautiful, beautiful shot. Could have used a little more Brooklyn on that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't think that's the proper use of that. Uh, yeah. Take it away too. So when you call it, when you say a rock is the Brooklyn side, is it just? It's not the side you wanted. Opposite the side you called, right? Yeah. That would that would be so I, it's how not I would just, define so it. I wasn't sure which side he called. But I would have thought he would want to be on that side anyway, so then that wouldn't be Brooklyn. Yeah, you better, better throw that one away. That term is the... No, I'm going to master it. <laughs> I'm going to master it. I'm going to have it in my lexicon. Yep. <laughs> you are, you are oh. a word guy. You are... Uh, 
Word, words whoa, have uh, yep. significance. significance in your world. Well, that's very nice. Um, yeah. Okay. That was my I fault. had this uh, project that I wanted to do is I wanted to create a book or a, a pack of flashcards <laughs> because I I hear little phrases that people say when you're furling. Mm -hmm. Naturally, I, I can't think of any, but like uh, just like. Little little phrases that like when you make a good shot or a bad yeah. shot or you over sweep or under sweep, but people have like interesting, cute little phrases. And I thought a little book of that would be a right good the reference so that a six when you're out on the ice and you don't know what to say, you could just say, "Oh, you missed a shot." Yeah, rather than saying like that was a pufta or that was yeah. A <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like similar to a you know sharp stick in the in the eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. But a little bit more you know clever than that. Right. Oh, I, I I got you. You could have your own uh, curling lexicon, just like you, uh, you know, like like uh, Klingon on uh, speaking yeah, I think Klingon. I there already is a curling lexicon. Right, but you could make up little terms for specific shots. Well, you can hear the, the metal grinding across yeah. the ice. I like the sound of that. Oh, beautiful shot yeah, there! Nice double. Clean oh, that came up. up. Take. Uh, you always like that when the skip and the. Uh, and the vice are going. Yep, off. Yeah. Yep, off. Yeah, it means you're darn close. Yeah, yeah. and they and that was a that or was or they don't know shot. what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> right there. So I wanted to tell you about these Crown Royal bottles. Yes. So last night, Craig brought these out. Yeah. And apparently, um, so they have a little Velcro, and so apparently, uh, Scott Belvich had given these to him years ago. He went to a golf tournament, and he had got ahead of a hat with Velcro, the opposite Velcro, all around the outside, and it had all these Crown Royal bottles. <laughs> so when he was golfing, he could just rip one off. So they've been refilled many times. Well, that's very cool. Rolls the primary. Yeah. And, and there was only story. one that's missing, and, and that was me. Blank alive. I'm fine with that, too. I threw it in a, poured it in a glass, though, so we don't have to sterilize ah. it. Every time I drink Crown Royal, which is not very often, I think of you. I appreciate that. I'll be anxious to get back into uh, drinking shape, drinking well. form. Yep. All right. Now that would be so Brooklyn. It. If yeah. You wanted on yeah. the other side to. <laughs> you're going to force it, aren't you? You're going to stick with that regardless of. Uh, well, I know. I just yeah. want to make sure. Yeah, practice makes perfect. That's yeah. why I like curling. You want you to practice <laughs> the same shot over and over and over and over and over until you find some other flaw that you Nick, can work Nick, help me out here. Tell him that Brooklyn is not a curling term. He should, he should just stay away from that. See? Okay. You're hearing it right there. I don't. It was used in the context of, of curling commentary by somebody that knows more than me, so I'm going with it. Really? And who was that? I think it was Dean Gemmel, actually. Well? Yeah. He said he's anxious to get back on the mic, so maybe I'll clarify it. There you go. It is suspect if it's a bowling term. Yeah, it is a bowling term. I for don't sure. like I don't like people comparing bowling and curling. Right. I think. See, and that's what you're doing by using that using that term. Well, no, because I don't know it as a bowling term. You're the one that's doing it. I'm telling you, it's a bowling term. You're coming to the wrong side of the head pin. Looks like he's lining up for kind of a difficult spare here. <laughs> Ouch, ouch. <laughs> this, this is painful. So Red's sitting uh, uh, a little, little, little deeper than he wanted to on that one. So yeah. Hodak is uh, sitting 1-2 right now, one right on the button pretty much. And you notice uh, on the left. Hodak's got uh, Dynasty curling gear, and I've noticed a number of the squads that have that, the Dynasty's Just at the not. top. And when you're sitting up here kind of in the bird's eye, you get a nice view of the advertisements. See, Dynasty, Dynasty. Uh, oh yeah. A yeah, I see it. Pete and Marine are Dynasty curlers. Ah. Are both of them curling this weekend or not? No, they're running the spiel. Ah. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. But they have done a lot. Uh, they have done a lot well. for the club and for competitive curling. And yeah. Whoa! Very nice shot, very nice shot. I think that the uh, the curlers that participate in this event uh, respect them because yep. of their kind Let's of their guys. competitive pedigree. Yeah, yeah, And exactly. they also know how to make decisions about what, uh, you know, what's expected, you know, there's certain things. And 
I thought it was kind of cool they brought uh, a photographer in so that uh, gives everybody free headshots because on the on the broadcast and on curling zone you get a headshot. Sometimes you have curlers that will be in that don't have a headshot. And so it's like a nice way early on in the season to get your pictures figured out. There you go. So a yellow uh, uh, Wilberg did uh, did make a nice shot. That last shot took out uh, took out the Red Rock in the center and ended up sitting for one. So we have a tie game going into the going into the third end. Did you get your headshot then? No. Three. I already have a headshot. <laughs> you slide in. That's fine. <laughs> but I'm not. Imagine a man of your so. a man of your uh, yeah. Yeah, we actually um, got, for work, we got headshots. And, uh, yeah, I look quite respectable, which well, the they photographer did a good job. Did they, did they retouch that a lot? Then, <laughs> yeah. <or>? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was back when I had a really full beard. Ah. It, it looks yeah. quite grisly. Yeah, yeah. Take a look. Take a look. Just leave it short. Ooh, sit down. Good throw. Good judge. Two. So, Nick, do you know the, the gentleman with the uh, orange thing on his broom there and the foot thing? Do not know him. Richard Markle. Quite, quite geared up. Setting up the end a bit, getting some guards and corner guards in place. Yeah, what do you suppose that orange uh, thing on the back is for? I have no idea. It almost yep, looks yep, like a leaning going, crutch. You know, like if you're out on the ice. Yep. Oof, that died. Yep, yep. Looks like... Uh, okay, play with that. Looks like got a tie game on uh, sheet four as well. Two apiece. Yeah, looks like uh, like Todd pulled out a two ender there, so they're they're met, they're they're tied up. We had Todd mic'd up earlier, and uh, I really enjoyed it. He uh, had good uh, good decision making in the hack, and it was listen, it was fun to listen to. Yeah. Well tied. Touch draw there by the by the Hodak team, putting nice uh, nice rock in the you see any of it? behind the guard. Corner. See Jim Ivy's out there too, playing for Todd for. Yeah, he's playing lead. Just right to it. We rub the guard. That's fine. Side in. Yeah, try to follow that uh, that draw down and sit on top of them. Wait only! Wait only! Mine's better now. You can go. Where oh, are yeah, we? there it goes. There Very it goes. nice. Very nice looking shot. I oh, gotta bend then. Will we bounce. 
Very nice, John. Yeah, that's sweet. Great shot. So yellow sitting shot and uh, On top. got some backing with that red. Back and they're looking to follow right down again. We're looking at everybody's trying to the same shot, the same little touch shot to bring it down into the uh, in the score. You know that's against the rules to do sign language. Coaching. <laughs> Is Nick coaching up you're here? You're probably taking all the wisdom you're hearing over here, <laughs> passing it down there. Yeah. Intelligence. Yeah. this broadcast for visitors. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Back from a quick break. Has had a Linda and Jim stop by. That was nice. Linda and Jim. I can't remember last Jim's last name. Oh. Isn't that terrible? Sorry to put you on the spot That's like that. Yeah, yeah, you, I should you do, do that. Well, I didn't think about it until after I yeah. opened my mouth. Over and off. Linda, Linda, the first uh, female. Uh, president of the St. Paul Curling Club. Oh. Lokenskard. Lokenskard. Right. Thank you. There we go. Let it die. Let it die. Beautiful shot by Wisconsin here to drop a, drop a guard in and of course uh, take away that inside shot that the, they all, they're all trying. That was two good ones. Looks like Kodak is going yeah. to do some, uh, some heavy lifting here and try to clean things out a little bit. This, Nick, the, 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 the brooms they have, that they all have like the same color broom. Is that, is that a hard line? Is that a prerequisite for competitive curling? Yeah. I mean the color. Do they have to go with that color? Yep. And they're all, they're all like yellow. You know, the heads and the brooms are all like, look like they're all, all that, you know. Anyway, they look like they're all the same. Well, in, uh, in these competitive events, they all have to be, they all have to use those yellow heads because oh. of the material. So that's why they're all the same. Oh. Got it. They, uh, they do that to limit the directional sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for uh, bringing that in. I, I apologize. I should have realized that uh, Nick's voice is not online and, and Nick uh, proved words of wisdom and you... Uh, Line you echoed him. That was great. Yep. Go. Hard boys. So let's make it just leveling Everyone. the playing field, kind of, just keeping everybody on the same thing. Yeah. Keep it fair. Yeah. Yep. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. You can play with that. Anytime I mix, I missed the shot there. Shoot. So if we look up at the. Static cam. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a good one. That's good. That's a good descriptive term. Looks it looks like yellow is uh, looks like Wisconsin sitting one right now at the top of the house, sitting in the sitting in the 12 foot. Lots of guards up front. Um, and then there's a then there's a red. The Kodak has a, a rock on the back. It's a little bit further out than the than the yellow rock. So. You got all that from that static cam. Right? Yeah, there we go. It is nice Let's having that the, overhead. That's look, look, uh, one thing that, that I would I would like to add to our broadcast capability is to show the overhead. But unfortunately, we just don't have the uh, equipment for it. Yeah. Those cameras there are not routable over our uh, IP range. We'll get there, though. Try to do some damage here, maybe get a double. 
Oh, got the one out. Yeah, took, well, took away the guard. Wandered, uh, wandered a bit. Like that? Right, getting a little Dennis, more a you've been uh, president of this. I just give me like uh, fine institution. Seven, fine yes, institution. Yes, yes, I was. I had that honor. And you presided over some significant changes. Uh, mainly the the growth of the club at that point. So we, we went from uh, when, uh, when I first started out, we were around 700 and some odd people, and by the time I my term was done, we were around 1,100. So the the problems we dealt with for the most part were growth related. You know how to deal with. So adding, adding on, uh, adding on draws and and uh, buys and uh, uh, making uh, more time available, get more to just to get more people to be able to get more people on the ice. So yeah, there were different different kinds of challenges there. Like? And that um, that growth was caused primarily with the uh, starting of the web streaming. Yep, oh no. Exactly. Yeah, uh, that that was uh, as as well uh, documented. The web streaming was what really drove the uh <laughs> drove the growth okay. of the club. Actually, yeah. the, the growth was pretty much due to a, a okay. lot of factors. The Olympics being uh, a key one uh, among them. Uh, Did uh, so? How how long were you like? Is that a four-year thing or a two-year? Well, it's actually a. We might have just been a little. It depends on how you come into it. For me, it was a overall. It was a as a nine-year uh, commitment. So I had uh, three years as a uh, uh, actually. I'm sorry, seven-year commitment. Uh, three years as a board member. Two years as a vice president. Uh, and two years as president, and then and then, and then yeah, actually nine years, and then and then two years as past president. So um, it depends on where you come in in the cycle. Some people go straight to being uh, vice president and president, or some people start off we on the board shot. and will move up. But in my case, it ended up being uh, uh, that kind of a that well, kind of a amount of time. So yeah, that growth just, though, uh, from 700 drops. to 1100, did yeah. that happen just when you were president oh, or I when you were on the board? I when I was on, when I was I'm just trying here. to get an idea of how yeah, fast it wasn't, it wasn't it strictly it wasn't strictly in those years, but this. when I uh, first started off I until when I left, uh, so it was probably about a uh, a five-year span there, five or six-year span that that saw that kind that saw the big growth. And we added on the Metro League on Wednesdays and started the Sunday draws and added in the uh, and changed the time on some of the draws to get that early one. Yeah, uh, that's when you when you also instituted the the uh, on Tuesdays the. The well, but I mean, every other, I think we are 6:55 and nine, nine rota rotating. Oh, yeah, because yeah. yeah. it used to be used to be either six or used to be just two draws a night. When I first started, it was just two draws a night, six or you know six and eight. And then when you added that, uh, uh, you know, they had to start to, to rack the one uh, off until uh, uh, until well, well now it is five see. actually. Yep. Uh, you know, five, seven, nine for most of the nights are four thirty, six thirty, eight thirty on uh, Sunday. No, I'll tell like you what, that nine, out, you get those nine o'clock so draws on Tuesdays. Yeah. And if they, so I curl on Sundays and Tuesdays. So if it happens to line up that I do an 8.30 on Sunday and a nine on Tuesday, those weeks are are tough. Yeah, nine o'clock draws are not are not fun. Nobody I do is. like them. I like subbing in at nine. So particularly nine o'clock on Friday in this club is super Nine o'clock, yeah, <laughs> Friday is great. <laughs> <laughs> I love nine o'clock Fridays. That's my favorite uh, yeah, they're like, time to curl. It's like party time. Yeah. It's a, it's a huge social event. Uh, Big curling is a riot, and uh, the nine o'clock draw, from my perspective, is a uh, is a lot of fun on Fridays. But uh, everybody's got their own thing. You know, a lot oh. of people uh, oh. love the five o'clock draw on Fridays because then they they get in and they uh, they get. That was a beautiful shot uh, by the by the uh, Wilbur on that last. Uh, is that his second? I'm sorry, I'm losing track a little bit. That was his first shot. So beautiful shot to uh, take out the red in the back and. Uh, and I got Wilberg seeing one two, but yeah, that uh, yeah, now that social time, uh, that social I aspect of curling there, no is, be, from I my perspective, is critical uh, in all uh, in I mean, all levels, and uh, especially uh, you know in the in the in the mixed league, it's it's it is it's 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 league. Yeah, that is that yeah. is. It does seem like the couples that that I know that I curl that um, are really important. That one in the top important is really it might be an it might be a little overstated, but important couples in the club, like their significant the social kind of pillars or hubs. A lot of some of them are. I agree with that, but a lot of people are just like just, you know. Yeah, I'm not curves. talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're feeling sensitive yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but you've got a lot of the the, uh, the Sol, uh, Satrams and Augustins and. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of mixed curlers that have. It, it been could also be that um, they're significant because I see a lot of them because Jordan curls then. Yeah, and, Jordan. Uh, and so uh, I've connected with a lot of the same people that Jordan. 
curls one. Yeah. Jordan's got a got a lock on. Uh, he was well. He was a president of Mixed, I believe, last year or two years ago. He was a uh, yep. Mixed president. Yep. So just that same thing. Bodak just made a shot, actually a little bit heavy. He didn't want to take yeah. out that one, so now he's sitting yeah. wide open for uh, risk wrecking. for a potential Wisconsin uh, hit here. So this is the, the last shot for the... Same uh, thing, guys. we got a little more room this time. Now we can Wilbur, go Wilbur, through on Wilbur's last shot. Under. Can, and if he makes a shot, he can, uh, he can make it a challenging yeah, shot for, for one for, for Hodak. So he's going to try to hit that? He's going to hit that, you bet. So he'd love to hit that's it. Not, is that that's Shot Rock, you think? Uh, yeah. Oh, definitely. yeah. Looking at he'd, static he'd, cam, he'd, I can see that. <laughs> he would love to get it a There's little like bit. There's like a little darkness in the back of the house there. He'd love to hit it on the inside and get a little bit of a roll behind the guards. So now if he hit it on, on the outside, though, by accident, would you call that a Brooklyn? <laughs> no, oh. I wouldn't. I would oh. not use that term in any, in any uh, curling sense at all. And he ends up hitting it pretty much straight back, which yep. is going to leave backing now in place for for uh, Hodak for uh, what, what should be a relatively easy uh, easy one. So the, he gets a little bit heavy here, not to worry about it because he's got the backing. He's a toe slider. Do you see that, Hodek? You don't see that too much very often anymore either, is the, the toe slider guys. Is that the same as a tuck? Yeah. yeah. Get that last, that last leg goes up in the air, and they're, all their weight is on their, uh, on their, front, uh, on their front toe. Nicely executed. Nicely, Lex. Yeah, pulled out the one. So in the, um, when you, um, yeah, so Hodek goes up to one. The, um, when we had that growth that between, you know, the five years went from 700 to 1,100, was, was it surprising? Did it all of a sudden, like, you guys opened up registration and it was like, you know, wow. Yeah, it, it was kind of shocking, actually, initially, because we weren't ready for it. So all of a sudden you're, you're, uh, you're dealing with all those things. Uh, you know, waiting lists. I, yeah, waiting lists, ice, lack of leagues. Uh, at that point, of course, St. Paul was the only club in town. So... Um, you know, you did whatever we could to, uh, to to get as many leagues, many teams in as we could. So that would be uh, so everybody that wanted to curl could curl. Yeah. Um, and even now, uh, I think we're up around 1,200 people now, and we end up, uh, and I hope that continues. Hope we continue to uh, to have a strong membership. But uh, even, even on right now, I think we still turn people away, we, which is unheard was unheard of at that point. You know, back back when then. Uh, you were, I remember, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Joe uh, Cloutier Splash telling me stories about how they would uh, periodically, they go out and, uh, you know, pull a, pull a homeless guy off the street to come in and curl because they needed one more curler, you know, for, for a league game or something like that. So they, they uh, you know, we, it wasn't the, the game it is now, uh, at least four, here, in, here in St. Paul. It has changed a lot and gotten, uh, and gotten very popular and, uh, and we hope that uh, that trend continues. We now have you know, five curling clubs in the Twin Cities area where not that long ago you had one. Yeah, a sixth, one's a sixth one is opening up uh, in Richfield. Really? They're going to be a two-sheet arena is what I've heard. Okay. Um, I think it's still in the planning stages, but it's actually, well, it's really close to where we live. Okay. It's like nine, like not a nine-minute drive or an eight-minute drive. Money room. So. This nice. might, I might, my days might be waning here at the St. Paul. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people, and uh, whether it was would like that, yeah. Whether it was, no, no, no. a lot of people like whether it was the Adina Club that uh, that was in place for a while, or the uh, you know they they uh, or the clubs that are in, in place now, the Blaine and Chask and like that. There are a lot of people that curl. Okay. That a lot of St. Paul curlers. Yep. That will curl uh, Blaine or Chaska or Lakeville now or wherever Frogtown, but still retain their spot. Uh, still retain their connection to St. Paul. Yep. So I think that uh, if, even if this club does open and you, just, you decide to go over there and uh, curl some league, you'll end up uh, keeping your 
plank continue to play here uh, on the one league. Lisa there's a lot of, uh, it's kind of like the mothership for the town. Yeah. Cause it, uh, there's a lot of, like, Velvich is out in Chaska. Yeah. And, you know, John Benton is up in, up in Blaine. Blaine, right. Both of those guys have a rich heritage here at St. Paul Pretty Pretty bad. Club. Especially John Benton's family. I mean, that, uh, yep. that's huge. But the, uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. A lot of these, uh, uh, mothership was a great word to use in this situation because that's, uh, that's what, this is where it all started at. Well, thank you. That's the first time you've complimented me on my word choice. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're not using Brooklyn, you're all right. <laughs> Five, six. So a couple of nice uh, center line guards here set up by Hodek. So uh, Wisconsin's going to try to take advantage of that and draw one up behind him. See if I can get a time on this, see how the ice is doing. There you go. Channel my inner ice maker. Everybody looks narrow to me, look narrow to you. Yep. I get to sweep the heck out of that to get that around. Line. All the way along. Oh, here it comes over. Yeah, again, at the sweep, it's hard to get that pass. Oh, well, I kind of make her. All right, okay. set one more guard up there. Going to be some challenging draws coming up now, or I think it would be. Uh, tries to do. I think I would enjoy being an ice maker, except for the amount of work. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of, lot of work. Yeah, and uh, it seems like those ice makers, like Craig, like I, like so I, I left last night at one, and there was still activity, and Craig was still here, I think, around that time. And then so I got in this morning at seven, a little after seven, and he was out on the ice. You bet. And where does that? And where does the problem? So if you have, if for whatever reason there's a problem with the ice, where does all that pressure fall? Squarely on the ice maker's shoulders. They have to take a lot of, uh, a lot of heat. Now Craig does a great job. He's, uh, he's learned well. He's, he's taken on the job. Uh, he's got a very analytical mind. I like talking to him about, like, the systems and the plants that are here, mm -hmm. and his plans to make them less. Yeah, I think it has to be like a, in so many other things in life. It has to be a passion. It has to be something that you uh, are passionate like that? about, that you want to. Uh, oh, you can try you know, the double tap. Because uh, it's, it's a, a time-consuming job, and it uh, is a lot of hard work. Straight and those guys who, uh, you know, from uh, I'm not sure who all is on the ice ice crew okay. this year, but obviously Craig and Jim and uh, um, Sarah, Sarah and Pat, Pat Gillis, I think, is still helping out there. And I think Monica Walker helps quite a bit. Okay, there you go. So you know more than either, but that's, that's uh, yeah. I'm just picking up names. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of effort. A lot of effort by, uh, by a small group of people to make this all possible. All these draws are coming up a little bit on the light side. They're leaving lots of stuff so up I'm front. So I'm noticing the, uh, got the, the slow guy stuff. in the in the in the the 70s okay. plaid. Yep. Which I don't really think is 70s, but that's what you said. Arm pad, patch, you elbow patches. He, sweep, he sweeps way to the left of the path there. Ah. I don't know if that's a technique or. I don't know. But I would think you'd want to be right in the front. But I know that if you do the inner side, it helps with the, you know, that's that's how that directional works. But he seemed like he was really far over, yeah. which means I would guess would not mean he wasn't being very effective. Uh, I'll, I'll watch next time he sweeps. But uh, they've been uh, both teams have had a hard time here getting into the house drawing. They've right. Been wrecking. Right. It, it, it looks it looks like the ice is. I wonder if the ice isn't even. Uh, they're going to try to go through that gap. This is going to be an interesting shot, a uh, real touch shot here. Oh, I'm pretty confident that they'll be able to do it. Yeah. But, uh, this is just like shooting Womp Rats back home. Yeah, there you go. You're watching too much Star Wars. Is it Womp Rats? It's not. It's some, is it? I think it is. This looks pretty nice. Yeah. Just if it starts, it starts moving. Gotta curl hard. Don't tilt it. No, no, no. Off, off, off. Okay. All right, well, almost accomplished that task. I don't think yeah. quite made it. But uh, it's getting tough to figure out how they're going to they get some rocks in the house there because they've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rocks sitting up regarding in a nice spread pattern that are not going to make it easy to do, uh, you know, do much, to do much get here. This guy. So, Nick, Just give the, me uh, their skip, uh, uh, Hodick, he, uh, 
Oh, wait, well, you can do the translate. That's all right. Yeah. Get that on the guy. mic. We'll talk about it. All right. So um, it's uh, Tim Hodek. Yep. Is he, a, is he a farmer kid? I I think so. I, I just was checking out his hat. He's got a really cool farmer hat. You know, it's got the... He's down here. Yeah, I think he actually works for yep. Yep. for that company. I'm not sure. I think I've heard he Whoa. does. But yep, yep. I, know well, I thought it was Mountain Dew, it. so... <laughs> That's what I thought it was at first, too. It's not. Okay. We'll he, take a look here. He got on me about it, so made sure it was a farming hat. Yeah, it does right. look like a farming hat. I mean, I didn't mean I didn't mean like the brand look like. It just looks like a style that a farm a oh, farm yeah. kid would wear from North Dakota. Just that little netting type, yep. type hat. Yep. Yeah, and a real straight bill. Right, not a whole lot to suit at right now. Do you have any bumper? They didn't hang the score, I guess. <laughs> I like that he uses the same arm gesture that I do uh, when I want to indicate a missed room. Yeah, it looks like that Wisconsin will have a probably a nice T weight shot to bump bump it back. Huh? Yeah, so it would be nice nice and protected too. I don't too. think so. Oh yeah, there's yeah, they're not. got plenty of, of rocks up front Give to me seven, get eight. behind there. There's a gap though, so I could see how, you know, coming back the other way, there's a challenge there could be a challenging draw through some of that mess. Yeah. Or or a really tough run back, but I've seen Tim make plenty of those, so I know he's, he's looking at something tricky also. Playing pretty upweight here. Where? Yeah. Looks maybe about a hack, maybe. Well, it yep. is coming over, yep. though, yep. so. Yeah, it Whoa. looks like it's a little might squirt out to the opening. Nope. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. That's pretty nice. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, he's Odex got a little port there to draw. Maybe even freeze down to it if he's a little heavy. Hmm. Well, this is the same uh, same angle that they drew before, and it kind of uh, cut on them. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here with a little bit less junk up front. Yeah, it, I've kind of noticed that the rocks are just really diving. Yeah, really I love close that. to the house. I yeah. love that. I mean, I, I don't like it necessarily when I'm curling, but I, I think it's just really pretty to watch. Yeah, it. Oh, this one needs that. And a little heavy on them. Yeah. Looks like. Yeah, thirteen hog to hog. Just. Just hit and flop over. In off, maybe. We can kick this a little bit. That's good too. Give me normal. Huh. So d he wants to hit that out just so there isn't a raise. Yeah, maybe put a little bit more pressure on, take a little easier shot away from him. Board weight. Yeah, it's good. False? Wow. Yeah. Did he say false? Uh, Get over there. I think that's what I heard. I'm not. I don't know what that okay. means? False? Good. Good spot for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice looking hat. Good pair. It wouldn't look good on me, but it looks good on him. I don't like wearing hats, actually. The uh, I don't like how it compresses my hair. Yeah, I don't like hat hair. I, I'm not a hat guy either. I do sometimes wear a tiara, though. I think we're starting to run out. No, of, uh, that's not true. Maybe a visor here and there. Oh, yeah. Shot all the bullets in my gun, and now I don't. Yeah, know what you know to what the what shot. the like the winning why? Well, you probably know this, but why people wear visors? 
because it uh, it doesn't retain the heat, you know, like when you're golfing and oh things. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Just that's another reason I don't like I do wear a hat fishing sometimes. I like those kind of Orvis hats or the, you know, like uh, the Australian yeah. whatever hats. And if, it's, if you're fishing and it's raining, it's kind of nice to have a nice wide brim. Oh, yeah, definitely. Keep uh, your head out of the sun, too. I like, I uh, can't think of the name for them. The only, I call them sniper hats, but just like those. Er, sniper hat? Er, the hats snipers wear just before they snipe. Also a very <laughs> run back I wish I could remember the name for them, but that's the only way I can think of them. Is there a famous long center there? What? A booze hat? Is that a booze hat with the two bottles of beer on either side? And a straw? Boonie hat, yeah, that's a boonie it. hat, yeah. That's our crack tech tech team over there, Jason. Jason the hammer jurish. Oh, he's eating lunch, nice. Looks like he's coming with some little up weight. Yep. Gonna get one out of it. Yeah. Spose is the other one. Opens up a little bit, gives around. him some more options for his next shot. Another yeah, good reason to wear uh, a big fishing hat I mean, like that right is, that is it makes you look good while smoking a so cigar. Give me <laughs> there, yeah. Yeah. I'd Back in the day, cigars. apparently here in St. Paul, people smoked out on the ice, and there are a lot of guys would be out there smoking cigars. Yeah, I heard that a lot of the older guys in Mapleton say out, that guys. they did a lot of smoke cigars, they drink beers out yeah. on the ice. It's yeah, the ice uh, maker, I can't remember who I was talking to, it might have been Dex, said that you okay. could tell pretty much up to based on, on the ashing pattern who was on what sheet okay. when you were cleaning we up afterwards. Top eight foot oh, wow. Mary. I told him that I thought that was bullshit. <laughs> and then he just gave me the stare of, don't disrespect me on Dex. <laughs> and so I nodded and said, okay. I take a lot of time watching people smoke cigars to understand the, the ashing pattern. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, those managers, though, they just sit you know, they're here all day and they're watching all curling all the time. I mean, Dex used to say, you know, that he's probably seen more games of curling just because he, you know, when he managed, he watches all the time. True rink rat right there. Yeah. Loves being here. Oh, you know what? I had a big conversation about a rink rat. Have you ever seen a rink rat, the broom? Rink uh, rink rat? I've heard of it, but I've Is actually never seen one in person. Yeah, I've we never seen one either, short? but I've heard about it. Uh, what did you say? I just underthrew it. Oh. Oh. That's oh we should get him banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Maybe we'll have to come out on Thursday night. Quite distracting, I bet. Uh, Richard thought slapping the ice like crazy. Uh, when we played, uh, Dennis and I played in the uh, 40, uh, 40 plus bond spiel here in December, and uh, we curled against a guy that had a corn broom, but he just uh, he didn't sweep with it. He was skipping with it, but it left crap all over the place. Oh yeah, that that's why we all tape them now. It's just so hard to maintain them. You gotta like soak them in water for like 15 hours and then let them air dry or something like that, I think. Oh yeah, Dennis is saying, get back to the game. Yeah. Looks like he's... And it is moving over pretty fast though. Yeah, yeah it can't it hurt it. It's pretty good. I just don't think it's finishing quite as much as he thought it would. Yeah. yeah nice. Looks like it's probably about half buried. Only gonna be able to see about a quarter of that rock, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, I, he's gonna hit it. It's I'm gotta it be hack. like a back line type weight, I think. Get your nose. Yeah. Looks like that's what they're gonna try and attempt here. We're just gonna throw a hack at it. It'll go. Hack weight, yep. Well, if we're lucky, we can get the she's got a she's got a goal call. <laughs> I can put that in my book. So 
like about gold uh -oh. weight, maybe. Uh -oh. Just falling out a little bit on him. So here it comes. Starting to move over. Shooting though, back over. Coming. Now. Might be able to clip up. Yeah. Oh, beauty. Just skimmed right past it. That was so close to having Brooklyn that. <laughs> Going back to the Brooklyn <laughs> here. There's dead horses all over the place. It's like it's three for Wisconsin. Good night, boys. Now they should probably start seeing a little bit strategy change maybe. Try and keep it open a little bit. I know they definitely don't want to see 12 rocks up front anymore. Huh. I don't think anyone wants to see that. Yeah. Well, that certainly wasn't intentional, though. Oh, no. Just, just happened, eh? Let's uh, go around the bend here and see what's uh, going on on the other sheets just to give the massive following. Five! So Five sec. Sheet two is uh, Brown versus Tapera. Looks like... Um, I don't have colors on it, so uh, Stapera is yellow, so Brown is up. Two, two, uh, two nothing. Looks like Stapera is trying to make a run back here, set him, try and set himself up for a possible deuce. That's a pretty, uh, pretty good squad. Oh yeah, they're very talented and very young. quite what they wanted. It clears it up though, so it's not not too bad. So sheet three. There's three fencings out. Three fencing. It's got the whole family out here. They call that uh, like it's like a gaggle of geese. <laughs> There's a fence and a fencings. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on in sheet three, Quavola versus Rittenauer, but there's nobody there. Maybe they're maybe they're taking a break. Stack and brooms? Yeah. Sheet four is a Burr versus Fenson. Uh, I haven't been paying attention, so I know what colors. I'm guessing Burr is yellow, I'm guessing, and so they're. Five, six. But I could be wrong. The red leads that one four to two, so as soon as we find out what's going on. Sheet six, Leichter and McBride, and McBride is uh, yellow, and McBride good, is uh, behind, going. so uh, Leichter is up three to one. Play three, play three, and play three. Sheet seven, which is always difficult for Whoa. me to see the score, but I, I believe it's tied. Yep. Okay. Um, Sobering is uh, just delivered a rock that she was unhappy oh, with. Oh, wow. It's just a fantastic shot on uh, sheet four right there that Todd Burr threw between a fairly narrow port to uh, take out uh, take out a red and sit, uh, a sit two. That was a beautiful shot. It, wow, it's made maybe, maybe a stone and a half, uh, stone and three quarter port. Uh, great shot. And it looks like, Nick, it doesn't look like uh, Wisconsin's listening to you because they're, uh, they're putting up guards and throwing draws. <laughs> well, whatever, whatever works, he Not says. Whatever works. Got a Ben. Got a Ben. Moving now. Tuck a piece. Good throw. It's a pretty nice draw. Looks like about a half a rock or yeah. three quarters exposed. 
I do like the look of those hardline brooms. I think they're nice and sleek looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I've never uh, used one, but. Well, some grilled cheese has got delivered behind us. Smells pretty good. Grilled cheese and uh, Cuban. Oh, yeah, the Cuban's yeah. classic here. Yeah. Kitchen at the St. Paul Curling Club uh, delivers fine product. The beer is cheap and cold, so. <laughs> we, had a, we had a couple, uh, uh, a whole family had stopped by last night. They were just having dinner at Moscow on the Hill, and they just came in, and they had a little girl. Her name was Sage. Hmm. And so we had Sage on the mic for a while. Nice. Five-year-old. Nice. Did, say, did Sage have some Sage advice? <laughs> yeah, she did. She told everybody, she said, good curling. Ah, there we go. Oof. Wow, wow, wow. We're out. I always think that's interesting. Like, when you, you know, I, I'm down here a lot, and you see people who are just, like, in the neighborhood. They're like, oh, we thought we'd check it out. It's an inviting okay. place. That was close. Yeah. Well, especially with that new sign out front, that new uh, uh, curling club sign that went out just, I think, a year or so ago, the, the neon sign. That's new? That's new. That's relatively new, yeah. Oh. Makes it much more inviting. Yeah, it's pretty, actually. It's very attractive. Pretty is a bad word. It's not very descriptive. Ah. It's like saying something's delicious. Well, there you go with your, your words again, your word. I wonder if the uh, they had to get neighborhood approval to get that neon sign. Isn't this like a historic district? I think they went back and looked at pictures of the sign that was in place when the club was uh, uh, first built, and they then they yes. mimicked that. Uh, they mimicked that. So yes, they did. Oh, have I, to don't do some I don't know. I don't. I don't have to get approval, but they did. Uh, they did. They did. They there was thought put into how that would. Uh, how that would go. Boy, beautiful shot on the, by the Hodak team to drop in a nice. Nice draw into the four foot on, uh, yep. on sheet five. It's nice. It's lined very up nice. too with the guard. Nice and nice and buried. It's going to be tough to get that one out of there. So they'll just try to come down to it. Of course, the outturn side is all open. If I have my uh, elbows right. <laughs> well, it also depends if you're lefty or righty, huh? Yeah. I suppose you should come up with words for that, too, like uh, port and starboard. Well, that's easy. Wait only. Wait only. Go, then. Sometimes Come navigating on. on lakes can be difficult about which side of a blue or a green See if you can get a or a red or a green buoy to go on. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hug because it. of how you okay. approach it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We have that problem up at our cabin a lot. Not, I mean, I know where all the buoys are near us, so it's not a big deal. But do you have a cabin up at Fort Frasis, you said? Yeah, on Rainy Lake. Wow, that is just that. sweet. Yeah, it's been in our family since 1915 or 1917 or something like that. We were up there many years ago now for. Uh, we went up there for. Uh, went to the houseboat on Rainy Lake for a week. Wow. Rainy Lake houseboat? Yeah, it's a big brown and orange one. Yeah, I don't remember for sure. Uh, and a long time ago, but it was a great, it was a great time. This year, um, I met a bunch of curlers up there. St. Paul curlers? Yep. They, um, so we were talking about it last night. And we went down to the Kettle Falls Hotel. Yeah. Uh, my family drove our boat, which was treacherous over high winds, but <laughs> they were down there fishing. <laughs> it's more treacherous on the way back because if you meet uh, curlers at a bar when they're on vacation. Yes. 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 Just ticked it over. That was exactly what I wanted to do. A very nice shot on a uh, very nice shot by Red. Try it again. Bury in that one nicely. I don't know if there's any way that uh, Wisconsin that uh, that Wilbur can get that one out of there or or beat that shot. Other than 
trying to draw from the other side and, and, and tug one behind it. But could they, uh, extremely could they raise shot. the top yellow? Um, could. They could try that. Of course, then, the red would jam. But then, they're opening, but then they're opening it up, and they don't have the hammer. Yeah. So I think they're trying to be cautious about not giving up, giving up more than one here. And that's why they're trying to put this one down on top of it. Well, well, got a bend. No line. Richard, Richard, just Richard. Okay, we're by. Yep, go then. Whoa, oh, drop it, drop it. We're not here. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I like that. Drop That's it, fine. drop it. Well, Wisconsin basically just trying to limit uh, opportunities. Limit, limit, limit uh, Hodak to one point in yep. this one. Yeah, exactly. So that'll do. And they got an open draw on the. I just hung out there a long time. On the starboard side, but. Well, I think we're just maybe six side. inches out of what everybody else has been throwing down that path. So right, we just you know, on the right hand side. Yeah. yeah, you know, I, the reason I always remember port and starboard is port's got four letters, as does left. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God Brooklyn doesn't have four letters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, there's a tight, it's just kind of tight all along the side of that center line there. Yeah, I'm not sure what they can do on that side. But they're going to try something. <laughs> yeah, do you think they're trying to draw in there? Uh, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how they can get through there. I don't see a draw. I don't know if they're trying, trying to bump that yellow up. I don't see that either, really. But uh, they're, they're going to try. Just snuck past that guard, very nice. Uh, and the yellow out, so they get, but they're basically just taking away up I mean, the opportunity uh, for Wisconsin to uh, yeah. right promote there. that yellow, but I didn't think yeah. that was there either. I mean, really, anything in that track that prevents them from just using ours there, but I'd like to, you know, half freeze on this and give us a shot later. That was hmm. <laughs> Heard of Wisconsin skip, Solberg, uh, Wilbur talking about freezing on that one to give a give them an opportunity for uh, his second shot. It's that same thing we've been throwing. Looks like he's yeah, got the I mean, uh, really anything in calf that skin that mittens on. Uh -huh. Choppers. Able to come Choppers. To our back one there is good. But, you know, if we can get a half frozen, quarter frozen on the edge of his so we can make a play later, I wouldn't mind that either. What are you guys thinking for speed down this track? Yeah. 24? Okay. Looks like there's a good match on uh, Burr and Fence. It looks nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Haven't really been paying attention, but just glanced over there. <laughs> Line's a little tight. Whoa, whoa, got a bend now. Wilbur just trying to get down there and tuck one in yep, tight, to the, tight, to the, tight to the stone in the center. Just going to squeeze by that uh, front guard. I don't know if he's got enough weight to get there. No, no, got a little bump, a little bump. Doesn't really help any. Where was I for weight on that? Yeah, do you think they're going to try to come down that center? Fighter. Okay. We just I, don't, I don't see that as being a realistic we shot. Going to. Uh, and when it went, it went. I think that uh, Hodek is just trying to figure out how to get more than okay. one out of this end. I think that one's pretty well locked. I think I might have taken a shot away from him at least. So maybe the starboard out, uh, the starboard <laughs> out turn, out turn draw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, there you oh, go. Really Ahoy. <laughs> yeah. Ahoy, matey. It wasn't coming. We were still on the outside guard for so long. Oh, maybe I threw it bad. Now people are leaving around me, though. What's that? I think, I think people are leaving. Oh, I think people are just coming in. Oh, no, people came oh, in. Oh, he's asking you a question. Oh. Yeah.
Chris taking care of an audience question there. Yeah. Our live audience. Our live studio <laughs> yeah, audience. <laughs> Basking in the glow of uh, uh, yeah. a human all, all sandwich. Yeah, all three of them. <laughs> yeah, that's a couple. A couple. Uh, Jason, I don't know if you got the three-person setup, but you know, a couple teams have opted to play three a couple times. I don't know, giving someone a rest, or they couldn't uh, couldn't make a, the commitment or something. So I'm sure everybody that's listening knows that the first, uh, the lead plays three rocks, and then the second plays three rocks, and then the skip plays two. Yeah, so sometimes I think that could be an advantage or a disadvantage, depending. Mostly a disadvantage, I would think. I agree with you on that I mean, one, yeah. I think it's but a real shot. You disagree with me I because, or you agree with me because uh, I think it, you, you think the skip hard, is think you stick around, do you? so important. <laughs> <laughs> and being a lead, I think this, the lead is probably. So you want that lead to throw three stones? Yeah, no. I do like throwing three stone lead. That is fun. Yeah, kind of get your, get your consistency down a bit more. Yeah. Looks like he kind of pushed it out a little bit. Yep. Yeah, he's going to need it. He's going to need all of that to get by that guard. I don't think Both he's going to make it even then. Yep. It was like six inches less than uh, we've been taken. No, going to get a little nick. All right, so here's uh, coming up to uh, Wilberg's last rock here, trying to figure out a way just yeah. to make sure that I don't know if he can do a whole lot here to... Uh, well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. He could come through. Sketch a little on the outside. Drag it across. Yes, I think he's just trying to make sure he can't get more than one. I don't nah, see a way that... Uh, I don't see a way that he's going to get more than... Get that uh, get that one out of there, so... Yeah, that's... Uh, he's looking at taking, maybe taking out that top yeah. red guard so that uh, it takes away the chance for uh, a raise. Um, yeah. Other than that. Uh, give me, me out here. Yeah, he's just gonna guard up that raise. I don't mind throwing this slash, pumping that in. Is there any way we could jam that? Yeah, I don't think I don't think we give him more than a shot for two if we miss it. Let's play this. Give me broom right there. We gotta catch it. Right here. Uh, change now. I always decided to go for the. Uh, he's gonna go for the hit. So what's the uh, what's the desired outcome? I here? would like to get a double. It looks Angle like raise. to me. Yeah. I think he's going for the double. But we I don't. We don't think uh, we can jam this, so we're gonna take a crack at it. I think Seems like it. that it'd be hard with that yellow behind it. To yeah, me, that's an interesting call. And it um, could end up be uh, giving him more. What do you think about oh, that? We want to make sure if we catch it, it goes. What do you think about that, Nick? So about outside quarter. Yeah, I should have set up the extra mic well, here. Mm. Probably the hardest shot they have. I mean, Are you surprised he's making that call? A little bit. I mean, they're up to. Uh, and they're well, what's the alternative? Just doing something safer? Throw a guard and yeah. force them to one, I think. But Oh, it's a little outside. Yeah. And and now they just kind of opened it and left Hodek uh, an open draw for the forefoot for two. Yeah, well, that's what he said, the worst that he was going to get. Well, he didn't have the headset on, but he was saying, like, well, the worst thing is that we leave I him for two. That one too much. Yeah, they probably should have been playing it safe, put a guard up, force him to one, or make Hodek Make throw. a tougher draw. Yeah, make a very hard draw. Well, this might be a good opportunity to, to get a good timing on the ice. He's, he's thrown a couple draws, so he should be should be able to feel this out pretty well. And this is where two sweepers really help. That's pretty close. I'm perfect, all you. He's. He's close. They're so. dragging it. Yeah. Hey, he's close. Almost there. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, had sweep that the whole way. One. I think Tim's got to be thanking the sweepers for that one. Yeah. 
So Hoda gets one, and uh, Wilberg leaves. Yeah, leads I, I think that was, a, that was a dangerous shot by, uh, by Wilberg at the end there. He could have cost him, but it, but it ended up not costing him. So he, uh, he lucked out. We'll end up with a one-point game after five ends. So it looks like on sheet two, uh, Stapera versus Brown. Looks like Brown, one of the uh, Olympic hopeful teams, is up for nothing. Sheet four, Burr and Fenson. Burr being another Olympic Olympic ho hopeful team. Looks like uh, Fenson is up four to three. It's a one point game in the end. It looks like they're having a team meeting out there, Fenson. Most likely they're talking about chores and who's going to do what? Yeah, shooting the, they're shooting the ball. Yeah, chance to chance to BS a little bit. Um, he's actually sitting because I think I believe that he uh, yes he has the hammer this end and he's got he's sitting uh, he's sitting two right now so looking to uh, potentially add substantially to that lead if they can if they can keep this up. Two, three's good, three's good. Get three if you can. Uh, looks like a two, one. Oh, we get a watcher curling hoop from Michigan. He's watching. You're welcome. Uh, we enjoy doing the coverage. Five. We hope that every uh, every broadcast gets a little bit better. By the time I retire, <laughs> <laughs> we might have replacement TVs in our club. There we go. We will have. We will have. We should make that a goal. I think we should have the uh, the uh, uh, once upon a crime slash Terrapin uh, fun drive to replace cameras and TVs. Or Terrapin once upon a crime, depending on how Mine's you want to do Pretty good. That. It's interesting. There are um, there's a number of places that you can Where? get grants. Where? on your AV supplies. Whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, some whoa, whoa, of the grants, whoa. though, are only available to newer clubs. Nice draw. nice draw there by yeah. Wisconsin to put that right on the, right on the right bite in the button, right behind a guy, uh, top guard. It's 23-6. Yeah. You are saying what now? Uh, oh, I said that there was a number of grants that you uh, that, that we've tried to apply for, but uh, to get, you know, because the actual the, the plan to do the AV is is, is quite expensive uh, to bring it up to a level where people want it to be. And we applied for some grants, and a lot of the grants are only for new clubs. So they say, well, you know, we want all new clubs to have a certain amount of AV capabilities, and they think that a club like ours, you know, 1,100 plus members, has the budget to afford it. No, I mean, uh, and, and we do, we do, we do have a, a budget, uh, but at the same time, that's one of those things, you know, Sophie and people, I'm sure that was part of your conversation last night with respect to the USCA. Uh, we, we, we give the USCA a lot of money yeah. every year. $35,000 uh, is yeah, what I heard right. last and, night. Uh, and so then you look at that and you say, okay, that's Four good. Five. We want to help do clubs. You want to help Olympics. We want to be there for that. But also maybe once in a while you could, uh, you know, show a little something this way and, uh, and give us a hand with a project like yeah. this that would be, uh, a fraction of the cost that we pay them every year. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> the uh, the proposal was much higher than that. Really? Yeah, but it was pretty, um, yeah. Because of how the switching, they want to retain how we Line switch. Like tight. if we just said we had a camera, like a camera set up here and a TV set up here, yep. you wouldn't have to have as Line's much switching now. hardware. But, but yeah. And the, there's, there's challenges, though, in older club, too, because of our equipment. Yep, it's a lot great, more Keep going. You know, costly to, to fix and maintain. And uh, so I'm actually kind of interested in the club budget. Good job. I think uh, Good sweep, guys. it'll be interesting to see how all that stuff works. Well, Wisconsin dropped a couple of beautiful uh, draws in there behind those, uh, yeah. those two Hodeck, uh, Hodeck guards. He's, uh, he's got a little challenge here. They're, they're, they're sitting one, two, both of them. Uh, yeah, Wilbrook's playing real aggressive. Yeah, both of both of them in the forefoot.
deck here to, to try to come down in there and get one in there, get one in the mix so that they uh, might be sweeping that. Yeah, I would be too. Although it's uh, nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. That helps. They get a they get a red in there right on the yep. right in the right in the eight foot on top of that. So they're yeah, that's yeah. a nice shot that gives them opportunity for next time. If they can't guard that up, Four, right? I'm almost surprised they're not uh, guarding it up. They're uh, they're go they're he is being aggressive. He's put he's gonna put more rocks in the house. Yeah, but he's gonna do it high. That's a pair of pants right there. There you go. If you don't, if you don't. Uh Line's pretty good. Where? Yep, go now. Yep. Yep. A little bit light. Yep, gotta go. That's fine. If it doesn't move too much more. So you can get a bounce here. Yeah, bounce would be nice. He could have got, got a bounce off that first one if he had let it go okay. a little bit. But I don't think he realized how light it was until it was too late. Same way. This is a great opportunity here for, for Hodak to uh, to get one in the center. I'm a little surprised that Wisconsin left it open, that uh, the Wilberg left it open. Nice shot coming in here. Pretty much what they wanted. Maybe a little bit on the outside, but this will definitely uh, do the trick. So uh, Wisconsin still sitting one right on the button, but uh, Hodek has done a nice job on opening it up a bit and getting some reds in there so they make things uh, a little more challenging for them to get one, more, than, more two, than one. Three. Wilberg looking right now at his situation. I like that. They got lots of options. Well, Everything's on the table. Gonna throw peels. See if we can come straight across and kick them out. I don't think so. You think so? No. Peel wait. Catch it right here. <laughs> Do you? I don't see that, but uh, again, there's a different those, level of play those here. Those parallel uh, doubles like that. Just inside of those. My physics don't. I think work it's going to end up. If he does hit this, I think he's going to end up by uh, taking his own out or not yep. knocking his oh. own over. Yep. As long as he doesn't Brooklyn it, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Real hard. Real hard. He got what he wanted. He's yep. definitely going to get just a piece of it. Yeah, but maybe not enough. Oh, there he is. That's a beauty. Shot. That's a beauty. Well, well, that worked out what? very well. That guy knows more than we know. Yeah, it definitely. So uh, that ends up setting yep. up, Wilbur ends up setting up a gorgeous end right now where they're sitting three in the forefoot and uh, under some guards and, and making life challenging for, uh, for Hodek and company at this point. You know, this is interesting. I, I would have come the other side, but. I'd be worried this seems narrow to I me. I know, it seems like it's going to drop in a heartbeat. But he's got a better lie. He's got a better eye on it down there. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Nice call. Nice shot. So it still leaves Wisconsin with uh, sitting three, I believe, but uh, that red up there makes a lot of difference in the way he calls us in. Again, he's not looking at covering it up. It just amazes me because that seems like such an obvious shot from uh, from our vantage point here that they'd be able to raise that red right up to the button. Yeah. Just catch it here. Just inside the nose. Yeah, you just throw a port inboard. Inboard. <laughs> God. A port. A port. <laughs> they got you all uh, messed up with the star yeah. port, port and starboard uh, now, yeah. A port intern through the port. No, there's no. Your words are slipping. So Chris. Are they, is he going to do the same thing? I look like it looks like he's trying to do something like that. Yeah, yeah he's going to try to double it over. Try to move that one over there. Yep. Oh, it worked well last time. So. Did. Well. That's, yep. that's some confidence. Hard. Looks pretty good. Ah. Uh, didn't quite get it. Uh, didn't quite get enough of it. Cut oh. it a little bit too thin. Yeah, cut himself down a little bit. Yeah, well, that's all right. Didn't didn't hurt himself there, but he did. Uh, more importantly, he didn't move that red. So now that. Now they have an opportunity to actually either side. They can come in either side those now. And those two yellows and the red, though, are those doubleable? 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 Yeah, I believe they would be. Yeah. Maybe that's not 
the right play because maybe you just want to tap them back. And well, I, I think they, I think it is the right play actually. Well, either one, they they need to get, uh, they don't have the hammer, so they got to get one buried in there, yeah. and uh, and they want to minimize the damage. So either they, uh, they they do the double here, they raise that red on the other side, at right up to the button. Either way would be a good play from my perspective. Oh my little left way, just tap it to here. Just a tiny roll. Like back four, back eight. We have quite a few listeners. I imagine everybody curled up on their couch in their PJs. Probably have had the morning coffees, some donuts, maybe some Tim Hortons. <laughs> Got the uh, St. Paul Cashville streaming on their Jumbotron TV. Having a heck of a time. There we go. Wish I was there. Yeah, that sounds awful good. Yep. Maybe a fire burning. Yeah. I turned my heat on today. Yeah, it was cold last night. But it's supposed to be back in the 70s tomorrow, I think. Good looking shot. Got to get by that guard. Got to get by that guard. Come on. And he made it. Nice sweeping. Nice, nice call. This is a beautiful shot. They're going to be very happy with this one. Yeah. Look at that. I think that actually red is sitting, uh, I think they're shot. Yep. Can you tell by the, uh, the static, uh, nope. the static con? If we can get him to move out of the way and we can. I think red's sitting one. I think red's sitting one. I think we gotta start moving these. Yeah, I think so too. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. So red sitting shot. The, uh, Unless you want to try bailing now. Uh, it's probably too late for that. Maybe a little more. Huh? Little yeah. Yeah, that might be the shot. But he doesn't have a good angle to get onto our back one here to sit two. Huh? Oh, they're nice. Uh, they okay. hit their brooms Even together if you're there. you're right here, it's something <laughs> I can play into it later. So I was thinking about that uh, turning right on the heat. He's got to yep. tuck a piece. So I turned it on because I got up this morning and it said it was 66. Okay. And uh, the family out. was asleep and they will be like asleep when I go to bed. So I yep. thought that could be my silent message of love. Turn the heat on uh, so when they get up, it's nice and warm. And they would think of you. Yeah, and then if they don't notice it, then I could say that they don't love me back. <laughs> Let's hope your family is listening so they got that message. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they'll notice. I got cats, new cats, uh, this last year, so they're going to enjoy the heat too. Uh, they like curling up on top of the radiators. I didn't know you had uh, radiators or cats. Yeah. You learn a lot on the there you Saint go. Paul Cash Spiel. It's kind of, a, kind of a, it's kind of an important early yeah, shot here in this is. end. Uh, uh, Red sitting in an awful uh, Bodek is in an awful sweet it's position like here. Well, from this side, it looks narrow to me. Got a bend. Uh, definitely not narrow. That's got to curl. That's got to curl a lot. Oh, it is moving though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, gotta get whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I think the Bodex looking some good uh, some good possibilities here. I think it all goes back to him when he didn't plug up, he didn't guard that that red on the that doesn't matter now. So he's going to throw it. He wants to get it right in that little uh, nest put it, there. Put it right in the nest. You bet. Backing, even if he sits it on top, yeah. the forefoot is fine. You know, just get more stuff in there. But now if, if he gets it up and it's a little bit, like, I thought these we always make me nervous end. when there's that many rocks right there. So then the then then yellow will come down, and uh, and they'll have to try to do a hit on that. And move move things back a little bit, but it's going to be hard because there's so many. Well, look at that. But he's going to be drawing behind some guards here too, so he's yeah. going to make it a a, a challenging uh, takeout shot if he makes a shot. So I, don't, I think this is uh, they're looking pretty. It's pretty sweet right now. Sitting pretty is what sitting you're saying. Sitting pretty, but you want me to use that word, so I got to find some other. Where is word. sitting pretty? Do you know what uh, musical that's from? Uh, Isn't that a musical, Sitting Pretty? Or it's pretty, pretty and pretty in pink, maybe. No, no. Isn't that from Oklahoma? Wow, sitting pretty? Maybe not. Uh, not sure. But they're gonna they're gonna come right into this pocket here. I mean, yeah, it's a little wide, a little heavy. I don't know if he's gonna make the pocket. That's a beauty. Gonna be happy with that. 
Look at that. Very nice. So now he's sitting, uh, he's sitting one, two, behind some guards, backing. Very difficult to get out of there. He's, uh, this, is, this, is a, this is a tough situation for Wilberg now to try to figure it out on his first shot. Looks like Burr and Fenson are tied up. I think we come in here. Looks like Stepera scored a pair on uh, the fifth end two, and she two get, uh, versus get rid of both of those. Brown. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to cut him to one here. You think I just throw a bail shot here? Well, he says I'm going to throw seven, a, ba a bail like shot. A, what does that mean? <laughs> so Wilberg, the uh, Wisconsin skip, is talking about throwing a bail shot, with a, which we think just means he's going to throw as hard as he can, hit yeah, something, and, uh, and get out as many as he can to the minimize the damage. So uh, what do you think about popping this now? We probably get rid of the six. I did see that on the right. I was wondering if the other the star, starboard side there. I was. <laughs> I kind of looked at that the problem. So, I mean, we end up here, they're here, this is gone, this is gone, and we're just right here. They're playing that same shot they just played three times in a row. I like the, I love the discussion. Yeah, yeah maybe I like, this is probably it's the most makeable shot. Hand me a napkin from back there. What kind of weight you like throwing at this? Napkin. <laughs> Thank you. So are I they thinking think about they're going to come down and they're going to hit the? Otherwise, we're just going to drive this into the four. Mm. Yeah, there's not a lot. Uh, yeah, there's this. There, there's at this point they're just looking to limit the damage because they, they're yeah. they're definitely. Uh, I shouldn't say definitely, but they're. I don't see a way that they don't give up at least one. Well, here. I think. Yeah, normal uh, weight. So they're look. They're looking to uh, to clear out what they can. Yeah. To, uh, to, to minimize right how much they uh, they get burnt here. So if they uh, so they're looking to hit off their yellow. And they're looking to hit. Back looking to hit. hit actually, red, look, looking and to hit back. Pop out the red that's on the button is what I think. Right. Exactly. They're looking to hit in the crotch of the yellow and the red kind of there. Uh, um, hit the Dennis, red. We we don't use first. that word on the air. Oh. <laughs> crotch. <laughs> how are you? Our jittle of the stop and buy. Uh, and, uh, just hit inside half yeah. of our yellow one out and there. Adding his, side, uh, adding his uh, adding his wisdom to the. I see I see uh, our jittle's name on a rock out there. I can't remember where it is, but I've seen your name. Oh on yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, yeah, you bet. What would you uh, What would you do in this one, Art? Yeah, try to try. To Try to get uh, so try to get try to get inside roll. Try to get something going. Is broom stacking available? Is what I would. <laughs> well, well, a lot of heat on this one. I don't know if yep. you've done the. Yep. Whoa! Yep, yep. Uh oh. Now he's got it. He's got it. He's got. It. He's by the guard. Does he get enough of the red though? Okay. Well, he moved that. He did what he wanted yep. to do in the sense that he moved that red out. So now yep. red is just sitting uh, at one at the moment. Yeah, he uh, thought about that. That's uh, good. Yeah. Red sitting one, and uh, Wisconsin, uh, Wilberg has the hammer here. So depending on what. Yeah, I suppose you got to be careful if you bump that, the, right. the yellow. Yeah. I don't know what it would do. Well, if he makes the shot he wants, I'm just going to have a roll right off that six. Yeah, say again. Yeah, I think that uh, if he leaves him the possibility. I'm not worried. Chris, if you see that red rock on the on the right side of the forefoot, yeah, you mean the starboard side? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he could. Uh, yeah, uh, yellow could come down and uh, and do a hit and roll off that to get to the to get to the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Yeah. Well, this all started when we drew. I wonder if I could get the club to invest in a pair of lazy boys. Top eight. There you go. For right here. All long, we've been behind. Uh, yeah, two, two recliners. On top of us. 
Field on yours, I probably could have played instead of that peel weight flat double. Just uh, draw in there. Probably would have been a better call. A Rick the Hammer Gercheck, one of our IT staff, just showed up. All right. He uh, was with me in the morning yesterday. Rick the Hammer. And Bring he on actually, the hammer. Uh, when he first, oh, there, he's, I mean, he and I started curling together on Tuesday nights. He had curled four, four in college. And uh, three. But I, it was my first year curling. And he actually had, uh, his uh, room was the hammer. Ah. And it weighed a ton. This is a really interesting this is, end. I'm this is a, this is a fascinated by it. Yeah, this is cool. Here comes a shot by. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, well, it's a shot by Hodek. I wow, hope, I he's kind of wiped that out all the. Uh, wow, yeah. Left. Uh, well, that yeah. certainly changes things. It does. Uh, it takes away a lot of uh, chances for for Wilberg to, uh, to do much of anything. What Wilberg could do though now is uh, he can come in there and, uh, and, uh, and not come down to one. He can come in there and knock out that top red and, uh, and hold him to one. So I, I think you just pick him, give him one. Yeah, and uh, that's definitely doable. Yeah, I know. If I pick one of these, you give him one. I'm just trying Wilberg to really uh, sure speaks with authority on, on how he three. says what he's going to do, and I like that. Yeah. You know, that doesn't mess around. Not with the way I've been driving. Yeah, I try to deliver um, ideas and thoughts. Even if I think I really no. know it, I try to do no. it as if I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no. as if so then if I've made a mistake no. and someone says, oh, uh -huh. idiot, I'm like, well, can you hear the doubt in my yeah. voice? <laughs> Rather than being authoritative. Yeah, and, but uh, then and if somebody comes back to me and, and has a, like a, a lame reasoning, yeah. then I can be like, no, no, I'm pretty certain I was right. Style, just style. So, hey. I don't know. So Jason just delivered some really uh, stiff-looking cocktails. It's yeah, I'd say so. It's a little early for me, um, so it's a good thing that they don't have ice in them yeah. <laughs> because you, you uh, we'll, we'll be drinking those one, later. Yeah. We're tied with hammer. I'm going to take yours because you're going to be gone. I'm fine with that. Yeah. So I'm just going to save both of these here. Uh, hopefully yeah. they'll have all this booze in front of me when uh, think, um, Aaron and Ruby show up. They'll It'll be, be like, well, <laughs> we really know what you're doing here. <laughs> Just my normal. Maybe we could get some empty bottles laying around <laughs> on the ground. Get some, um, get some wrappers thrown around the, the ground. Like yeah, yeah, you got to litter, you got to litter it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. let them know that you've been working. I might just take a sip, just a yeah, taste. You better. Yeah. yeah, it smells good. It smells great, actually. Mm. Trying to pick that front one. I, I can think really taste the Canadian coming through it, with uh, but yeah. if we just miss a sousant of booze. There's no way to get two just out of this. He can get both these out, right? I don't think so. I don't think so either. So Wisconsin looking, Wilbur looking just to just to take out that top uh, that top red is sitting in the top of the forefoot and uh, and uh, limit the damage to one. He can't. He's got to be careful there because uh, it's going to be a real touchy shot. The only reason I said that I don't think he can get two is because that's what he said, and he sounded so confident. Yeah. Play the back one. Yeah. yeah I think he's still got the front one. And there he goes. So did uh, did what he wanted to do and uh, brought him down to one, and we have a we have a tie game going into the sixth end. Ooh. Exciting. Nice shot. Yeah, we've got a couple of great games today. These are these are really tight, All nice. Right. Games. That was an excellent end. Yeah. But, uh, I thought uh, oh, early on blank. looked like Wisconsin had uh, oh, was going to rack up some big points, but uh, uh, Hodek came back nicely and and uh, and got the point out of it. So I always think it's interesting how um, you know s experienced teams can look at just a whole bunch of rocks all wedged in, and then you know just kind of work through the different scenarios. Like, well, this is what I'm thinking I want to do, but well, this is going to go that way, and this one's going to go that way. I mean, that's just something that comes with experience. Right. Although I have found um, last year my strategy improved greatly by spending this much time watching. Watching the games. Yeah, and then listening to people like yourself that, you know, can correct me with all my, you know, Two. <laughs> mistakes. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes. We just try to uh, just try to learn from them. And, and uh, So it looks like it's still tied up on actually sheet the four. The game on sheet seven looks like it just ended. They were shaking hands. All right. Uh, looks like uh, yellow one, whoever yellow was. And Leclerc. There you go. Over Sobring. 
Sheet six looks uh, a little um, lopsided to me. Yep. Liked her over McBride. It's up five to one. Barn burner on sheet Seven four eight. there too. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm Henson. sure these guys have bumped into each other. Uh, yeah, many times. Many times. Yeah. yeah. And then sheet two is uh, Andrews Tapera versus Brown. Brown is up by two points, I think. Yeah, it looks like uh, Brown is uh, just throwing rocks away. So, oh no, here goes. Yep, uh, go guys. Oh no. Okay, that makes that makes sense. Oh. Yeah. Live scoring update on uh, sheet <laughs> two. Keep dragging it. It's now five to two. Brown. Six, six, to six two. to two. Yeah. So that's why he's just throwing rocks through the house. He doesn't want to. Doesn't want to put anything in there that's at right. all. He just wants to keep it all clean. So he'll throw takeouts and run them through the house as much as he can. Dennis, I have to admit something. The uh, yeah. taking a sip is probably a bad strategy. Why is that? Well, I took a sip of this now. Yeah. It's now in my mouth, and yeah. now I want to take another well, sip. Well, of course you should. And there's like a gallon of Crown Royal <laughs> in front of me, and it's like noon. <laughs> no, it's, uh, uh, it's afternoon, well afternoon. Well oh, for afternoon. For Pete's sake. Yeah, it's 11 20 or 12 26. You're good to go. I was just getting the stare down from stomping Tom O'Connor. Ah. Is he jealous of your, uh, your alcohol that you have in front of you? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Yep, yep, Maybe, yep, though. Yep. Oh, beautiful, beautiful draw there at uh, Odak, right behind the center line guard. A little touch deeper than he wanted it, but it's a nice shot. You like this, or you like roll away? I like the fact that Wilberg uh, doesn't doesn't mumble. He's he, uh, yeah. Here. He speaks. He speaks with authority, uh, even when he's just uh, talking this. about options. Uh, give me control. Be a great guy to have on the have on your advertising, you know, doing your doing your commercial. Wait a minute, I'm the guy that does your <laughs> commercial. <laughs> Did I just get fired? <laughs> well, you have. I have to talk to Wilbur here. See yeah. what he's got going on. <laughs> well, but we're looking for just a straight takeout here on that one that was tone in the center. Instability coming out there. Close. Yep. Coming across pretty hard. Uh, rope, he's got rope. it though. Nice yeah, shot. yeah. Take it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice shot. Well, we're not going to get the roll. Okay. Hmm. Nice shot by, uh, by Wilberg Rink there. And I'll sit Wilberg saying 1 2 with a, with a red guard up front. That's always nice to get that. Uh, Split like that. See, this is bad. Go, Chris, go. Go, <laughs> Chris, go. To, uh, to try to, to draw back and uh, get one behind the guard. Yes. Nick off the guard that one, so they'll leave up, leave up another guard. Unfortunately, that uh, moved the guard over towards uh, covering the wrong side. Covering the wrong side, covering Four, Wisconsin, five. covering uh, Wilbur's rock. That's a nice shot. Ah, too. Leave it. Let's put the, uh, puts the okay. guard. Puts a guard up there for uh, their uh, their rock and the forefoot. Wow, this is a challenging uh, 
challenging draw. You think is this a challenging draw, Nick? What's that? Yeah, yeah. He came out really um, hot, I thought. No, that's but, right. but that's the just the, the way his delivery was, but the, when the rock came out, yeah. it wasn't as fast as I thought it was going to so be. He gets by that guard. He's got a nice shot here. And he does. Look at that. That's a beauty. It's got to come over a little. Yeah. That's just a beauty. Very yeah. nice. Nice straight. You could do a normal. You could do a, a peel right through the center. Yeah. Or pop that one out. Yeah, so take big. away from the fact that that was a nice shot just to get with that one in there. Yeah. No, I I agree with you. Yeah. But, you know, it's going to be followed up by another nice shot. Yep. Oh, so the outside in. Well. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is leftover from last night. No uh, no Chaska people allowed here. Okay. Yeah. That's not horrible. Scott Belvich just stopped by, leaned on me heavily. How are you, Scotty? All right, two good ones now. Yeah, well, so that didn't work out, eh? Looks like at this point they're just trying to, they missed that takeout on the on the Hodak yeah. one in the center. Wisconsin, or Wilberg did, so now they're just going for, uh, going for a guard. Looks a little bit on the inside, though. Pretty nice. That's a nice shot. Yeah. That's a very nice shot too. No, I didn't. Uh, not guarding so much. What it is, just put another sweet one right in there, right next to the freezing, freezing on the Yellowstone. So right red, there. red sitting one and three, yellow sitting two and four. You tap. That's this uh, this monitor above me with the static. At shot. What I really like though is that it's red. Um, so if just you watch seven. at the red and the yellow static colors. It kind of gives a 3D effect to the <laughs> to the red and red yellow rocks. So yeah. No, hold on. You guys want to start ripping and just bail out? Oh, there you go. The bail out. He likes again. that bailout. I think what he means by that is he just wants to open it up now because they have the hammer. So he's saying rather than try to mess with this, should we just like open it up and rip it out and and, uh, and bail out? Hit and this they, and and they go for our one at the end. Yeah. Yeah. This is a takeout on that back one. It's a touchy shot that. if he up ends well, up you, touching the... Do you like trying uh, to get another one under, or do we go away? He ends up touching that top red. Yeah, He's going to knock away. out the yellow, and they'll be sitting one, two on the red. So I, I kind of agree with him, actually. I think this is a good opportunity early on right now yeah. to, uh, to open okay. up the middle. Yeah, I like that. That's a simple call. Normal. Yeah. Not that they've decided to go with a takeout on that red. It's so a simple we'll, uh, call. Yeah, not really. This is a, this is a touch shot here. It, look how close that is to that inside red. Look at the broom he's putting on there. Yeah. If they get it a little bit inside and hit that inside red, they're going to knock that uh, knock their own yellow out. So this is a this is a uh, this is a creative uh, creative call here. I kind of like the idea of opening up the middle since they have the hammer, but I understand why they want to do this instead. Not gonna be good. Okay. Oh. Mm. Wow, he got by that. Nice shot. Yeah, he gave it enough heat. It was uh, yeah. eight seven on the hog Wil to hog. Wilbur, yeah. Wil Wilbur Green had a great shot there and ends up uh, taking out the one of the uh, reds and now we're sitting uh, two reds and a four foot. He was I'm just sorry, a little bit lighter on that. Uh, it could have wrecked very easily. Yes. It was. It was moving. It was not yeah. Moving. yeah. Handshakes on sheet six. Just like uh, the Boston team liked her. Beat up the McBride team. Looks like there's a lot of thought happening on sheet four as well. Yeah, that's an interesting end. I'm not sure if. If uh, Benson is sitting 
one or two in there. That would make a huge difference. Oh, well, yeah. There, isn't there a third rock behind there? Are there three reds? I think there's there? four reds right in that uh, yeah, uh, limited area. The uh, the fumes of the Crown Royal glasses in front of me just make my eyes you water. I can't, I can't quite see it. Down. You haven't even touched that puppy yet. You better get busy. Oh, no. I'm going to. I can't. Are you kidding me? Otherwise if I drank here. these, I would be getting... Uh, you know, internet violations <laughs> of some sort. <laughs> FCC violations? Yeah. Okay. I will drink them, maybe. Just play out 3-4. Three, 3-4. Four. Three, four. Wilbur looking to put up a guard to uh, take away that possibility of uh, Odek raising that red into their yellow. Is that the, that's the plan? Casts a stone out on the starboard side. He's coming across pretty Whoa. fast. I'm not Didn't sure this is what he wanted to do. Oof. Just got by. Yep, off ours. Yep, yep. Yeah, and that was a fortuitous little bump there. That really helped out. So oh, look at this. Ruby just showed up. Aaron and Ruby. Just in time to see you with those. Uh, the two glasses of Crown Royal yeah. sitting in front of you. Yeah, look what Jason got me. <laughs> <laughs> Those giant bottles of booze. <laughs> Ruby, do you want to talk to Dennis on the microphone? No? All right. It looks like uh, Hodak is going to go for the hit and roll off that outside, uh, outside Wisconsin stone, outside Wil uh, Wilbur stone. So he's looking for a way to get to, to clear out that center, that center yellow. Yeah, they seem to be pretty good about that, uh, you know, that hit and shoot directly across. Yeah. That seems like that's a pretty powerful skill to have in your uh, quiver. Well, I think we have to have to start with is you have to be able to be able to get uh, a lot of power. You got to be able to throw with a lot of it, a lot of power, and uh, a lot of us don't have that in our in our in our quiver, so to speak, uh, as you to use your words. I love the sound of that steel. Didn't get the, didn't get the inside edge. Yeah. Just came over a little bit. Yeah. My turn to play that. But it, it's still. Um, or do we straight draw here? It's still difficult. I mean, so you think yellow is sitting one? Definitely. Yeah. I want to play this. Yeah. No doubt about it. So. Huh? To get two, could they draw? Would they I have to draw from, from, from this uh, side? Give me uh, there. I don't know how that. Probably, yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't see another way that they can get in there. He's doing. It looks like he's going to try to do the same shot that uh, Hodak just tried, and he's going to try to do a double takeout on the uh, on the Reds. So uh, it looks like more power. Great. Looks like he's. Uh, he's Try to set up for a double. A this seems is like that could be risky. That's a like the, like double, to yeah. me. It looks like it's a risky shot. But uh, that's what he's. Uh, that's what it no, appears he's, he's doing. Do. He's doing outside in, so I guess yeah. he's doing the intern. Intern, if he's right-handed. Take a yeah. little bit outside. Yeah, not gonna, not gonna come across the way he was hoping for. Yeah, okay. So we kind of Brooklyn that one. <laughs> God, have we broke you of that yet, <laughs> man? All right. So this is the last, last stone for Odak in this end, and he's looking to try to draw one nah, back and uh, so we can't get her. Uh, uh, draw one in there and, uh, and get point. one. Or at least uh, on this side. try to try to get one that uh, Wilbur can't hit. Pretty hard, man. What? Advice pretty hard. Hey, I'll somehow keep the three buttons. Well, blanking this end didn't go so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounded like their strategy uh, was to blank the end and 
Those that didn't work. That out didn't too work well. out. Yeah. Bit narrow. I don't know if we're gonna have a problem with that one at the end here or not. Oh, if it gets by, it just gets by. Oh. Nice. Oh, nice. Now it will stop in time. Nope. Oh, a little bit heavy. Just a little bit heavy, a little yeah. bit narrow. Right here. Now that Wilberg will try the same shot and he'll see if he can hold one to into the forefoot to out count the red that's right just on the edge of the it. forefoot. That was a really uh, valiant try though. Yeah. A little, yeah, he needed it. He needed a little less weight and a little more broom. Yep. Uh, half four foot will do it, but yeah, that's what we're going for, just T weight. We're a little further out than we've been throwing these draws, so I'd stay close to it. It's pretty good, guys. Both sweepers right on it. Yeah, I think he threw quite a bit light for what he was yep. looking for. Uh, I don't think he's got an opportunity in this one. Oh, gonna look at a dive. Yeah. Gonna crash. Yeah, not enough weight. Hard boys. Oh, he got by. Oh. So we'll give. Uh, All right, guys. Wilberg will pick up one in the seventh, and we'll come. Uh, we coming home with uh, Wilberg up one. the eighth end coming into the eighth, coming into the eighth end Hodak has the hammer then yep so that should play out interestingly we got a shot at another tie game yep I thought you said they shook hands on sheet two no oh they shook hands on sheet six I don't know what happened on sheet three I Here, well, I'm going to check with uh, Aaron here to see if, uh, ask her a question, see if I can affirm my love. Go for it. So here we are starting off the eight end. Leeds Rocks and uh, Wisconsin. Uh, Wilberg is looking to put some uh, Fun's good. Put some guards up on top. Right to my broom, guys. Oh, can you leave it short? Okay. Nice. Beautiful draw. Beautiful, uh, beautiful guard. Two. Well, the report it is like that uh, the heat right was now. not noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't cold, so it was ah. noticed. But the source of the... I figured make those guys chase us. If they chase us trying to get the juice, they might give us the steal. And if they don't, we just hold them to one. Just don't give them a, a shot for two. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, two is good. I think the game on sheet four just ended. What happened? I think the uh, fencing got a big end. Mm. Nice corner guard there Five by six. Hodek. And not happy faces on the. Five six. Burr rink corralling rocks on the way down. Yeah, I believe he had to draw the draw the button basically, and it came up a bit short.
Plenty of line. Yep, go then. Line's getting better. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Very nice shot, but uh, Wilbur lead on Wilbur Rink is. Okay. He's got it dialed in. Got dialed in pretty much, yeah. So now that. Hodek is trying to get, uh, he's actually playing for that second shot. He's not worried about the first shot right now. He's trying to figure out how he's going to get two out of here. So he's trying to get one covered on the corner. So as a, as a preview to uh, your audience there, Chris, who's, uh, who's coming on next? Who's your next guest? I don't, oh, um, uh, Scott Belvich, yeah. I ah. think, is on. There we go. And he's going out to a wedding. I think Julie Smith is going to come on later this evening. Nice. I have to check my notes, though. I don't remember who I have lined up beyond that. I think we have three draws left after this. Five. Wisconsin Wilbur just trying to draw another one in the in the middle. Just trying to keep you can go. load it up. Their yeah, their thought that, is get that line going. Yeah, well, their their thought is now. is they just uh, uh, oh. try to get as many rocks in as they can to. Uh, we're not going to bury. You know, best best case uh, score one and in the game. Worst case, not give up more than one. Okay. You gotta believe that uh, Hodex gonna start thinking about doing some takeouts pretty soon here. You can't allow them to get this many rocks in uh, in play. Yep, here we go. Going for the big go. Open up shot. Here we go. Lots of print, lots of lots of power coming in. Definitely going to get one, possibly two. That's, yeah, that's a nice shot. Took out the one guard, moved the other one over. So red sitting uh, uh, half in the 12 foot up on top. Still got the yellow rock, Wilbur rock sitting yeah. in the back of the four foot. Yeah, nudged well, up. Not quite a takeout, not quite a double, but pretty Just much normal. a double. Nudged it over. Yeah, far enough out of the way where it doesn't yeah. matter right now. Nice take out there. So yellow, yeah. uh, Wilbur ends up sitting 1-2. Got a little lucky. Got a little lucky on that one, yeah. He was trying to get on the one side, ended up crossing oh. over to the Brooklyn side and, uh, and doing the takeout. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's catchy, isn't it? It's hard to stop saying it. That wouldn't have been disastrous, though. Uh, you know, it wouldn't have been disastrous, but it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been fun. That would have put more pressure on them then, so. Now you got Hodek just taking out, uh, going for the takeout in the back one to yep. oh. keep things clean. He's got a nice open front end right now. Oh yeah, you know what I was saying, it wouldn't, yeah. Because uh, if we keep it all open, then uh, Hodek can just draw in for the final, final point, so he's pretty safe on getting the extra end. Right. Yeah, so you want to try to figure out a way to steal. Right, he wants you to You need that rock in right. the steal. So I can explain why I'm wrong. <laughs> I can go quite deep. Now we're, now we're just going to, does your wife agree with you? That I'm wrong? No, that you can explain why you're yeah. like, Aaron, do you think that I, I'm good at explaining why I'm wrong about things? <laughs> <laughs> quit, quit. I saw that. I saw that look. Oh, so she said she's never come across that situation before. Oh, my before. goodness. <laughs> she said what was that she said? She said that you're never wrong, never wrong or you never admit it. I didn't hear that second part. <laughs> I did. 
I did think I made a mistake once. Ah, but you were wrong. Yeah. Nice, nice shot there. Yeah, they're just going to trade. Uh, they're just going to trade takeouts. I think for a while here until uh, either somebody misses or they uh, yeah. figure out they, they need to get one in the house. But right now it's uh, although getting a you know if they do one and they and they do tuck it over there. Right. So I mean, that's what exactly what uh, what Hodex trying to do is he's trying to get a hit and roll one way or the other to get behind those guards to make it difficult yeah. to uh, take it out. Fork so side in turn. Yeah. So he needs he needs to get to needs to score two here if he's going to win this game in this end. A little bit wide on this shot. It's going to come back enough. It's going to have a lot of juice after it hits too. Yeah. Oh, not going to stick around. Okay. Opened it up. Yellow sitting one way up on top on the on the left and the red, just biting the 12 foot. What do you like? I got it like this. Light's good. We can go here, half berry. Take that away from him. You're just playing 3 4 here. Huh. There's not going to be a lot of time for ice maintenance. No. What's the next draw? Two. It's one o'clock. Well, they'll have time because they can start working on some of the rank, some of the uh, depending on how this end goes here. I think if uh, if red scores on sheet two, I imagine they'll call that one. Line's pretty good. Yep, go then. Yep, okay, gotta came go. Out, came out a bit light on this shot, looks like. I don't think they'll be able to get that uh, past the past the guards or deep or into the house. So okay, on the whoa, uh, whoa. Brown versus Tapera, there was quite a lead, a lead of four. It looks like Andrew got two, uh, but they're in the eighth, and uh, Brown has got a two-point lead and the hammer. So and uh, rocking the house. Yeah, so they're <laughs> they're working hard at manufacturing something. So this is where. That technique of possibly kicking the rock. <laughs> <laughs> yep. oh, where's my, where's my never, oh, never. Oh. No true curler or whatever. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Unless you can get it out, Ryan. Yep, you can go. Yep, yeah, go. All the way. Yep, all the way. Yeah. Okay, so whole deck drops one in and. Uh, we can take a look from front. Back, right? back of the four of foot, uh, maybe a bit of it covered, but I doubt it. I think he's got a pretty wide open shot at it. Yeah. Let's so you wouldn't draw out of that. I you would. Don't. You would. Oh my God. I, I, uh, well, let's see. What's the situation? Make sure we're sticking the um, shooter. Yeah, I would because that would make it the next impossible for them to get more than one out of there. They'd have to. If I was able to to sit down on top of their rock, they couldn't take mine out without taking their own out, and then uh, yeah. I, but it yeah, is I kind would. of kind of in back. My down normal. So that, that doesn't matter. If you draw sure down to it, you're going to be behind the T line. Right. Then they would have to come down to to uh, to mine. Well, I guess they don't have a lot you're, of shots. And again, you get yeah. again I Red's, Red's got to get two, you know. So if you minimize What's going on, Ruby? Um, we want to roll away. Yeah. I don't want to sit under their corners and give them backing. Yeah. We're looking at really I'm doing, right I'm doing matters of consequence here. <laughs> so let's do a straight takeout here and, uh, and rolling off the ice probably, roll it, rolling off the sheet. Doesn't need to stick around, just want to get rid of it. Are we going to have lunch here at uh, the curling club? I'm not going to have a whole lot of time if we go out, so. Yep. Maybe you could grab a menu and take a look. That's a very nice looking ah. shot by Wilbur. Yep. Very nice. Whoa. Yeah, it's going uh, unfortunately, that's directly the, downhill. Unfortunately, it's not what he wanted necessarily. I mean, a great shot, but he left it sitting there. Yeah, so now, now Hodex got an opportunity to, uh, to sit on him. And if he, could, if he can freeze one down there, that, that, that makes his, because he's got the hammer, that makes his possibility to get two a lot, uh, a lot better. I just get under it so I don't leave him a six inch roll. I think I could have taken a little more broom, but I don't want to risk rolling out and giving him a free jump under there. Touch less. 
First skip stone for Hodek. Delivers it carefully. He's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of pressure. He's got a little bit of weight on that one. Yeah. Looks like they need a miracle. I don't know if that will curl enough. I think he's going to end up. Well, here it goes. Look at that. So leaving it short though. So leaving. Uh, oh, you think we just cap it? Wilbur is, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's great. <laughs> yeah. They're going to bail, well, or they're going to cap it, or I, like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it a little longer so he can't play. I wonder I if he ever says, can't play a run back off it pop cap it. Ah. Okay, right there. I think, but uh, I just like how he comes out and he directly just is, he's got a nice left, phrase, a short phrase to describe exactly left, what he wants to be done, right. and, it, and it communicates it. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like your game is done on, uh, on sheet two. Take it over enough that there yeah. isn't a port there. Well. Brown defeats. Yeah, I mean, if, if we cover yeah. the outside half of his red, or I guess the inside. I actually, uh, on Jason Smith's side, on that team? Cover that half of okay. his Brown's team, I, I actually uh, curl with his broom. He gave me his uh, old light speed broom. Oh, yeah, nice. well, that's what I mean. Well, he didn't give it to me. I wanted it in an auction. Oh, okay. He wouldn't be that generous. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah. yeah he does still owe me a tight night on the uh, town with Schuster's rank in Duluth. Just kind of tilt it over on this side of the center line. I'm hold that for another 10 years so that I can develop the tolerance to handle <laughs> it. Those Duluth guys, you can't uh, yeah, go drinking with Duluth guys. you got to so be careful there, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll end up in the harbor. Yeah. Well, here's Wilberg with his last shot, just trying to just trying to guard that uh, guard that red raise so that uh, the red is forced to try a draw for one versus having an opportunity to take two. This is a big shot. He's got to put a nice guard up here so that the... Slides a little tight, guys. But there's no opportunity for him to get more than one. It's a little bit late, actually. He said oh, he's just drop it, guys. Over and off. Over and off. Can be a really high guard here. I like. See, I like over oh. and off. Yeah, yeah. Drop, just drop it, guys. Over and off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, love that's, that. That's gonna work. So he's. Maybe uh, I should get him up here and do call. call yeah. Call. Could he? Yeah. He's got the chops for it. He certainly does. Now, now it comes down yeah. to. It looks like it comes down to uh, Hodek drawing. Uh, you know, get a piece of the button for uh, for one to tie the game up and no, take it to an extra end. You got to trust them to do that. <laughs> Look at that. There's a little faith there. You've got to trust them. The, yeah. It's too bad you couldn't raise that red, but yeah. you can't really get to it. I don't see a shot to get that to that red. I don't think we even have to skinny it by all that much. Seems like they're thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's they're thinking, but there's nothing there. Yeah, but look at the broom they're giving them. Yeah, that's a uh, that's an arrow broom for the for the draw. I think I that's agree. what he's thinking. You think he's still looking at what touching that red? I think he is. I don't know. That's to me. I mean, those rocks did. You know, they all came over really quick. They looked heavy, and then they came over and died. Yeah, so but he's gonna come over and, and have enough weight to hit that red straight back, pretty much. And uh, and get enough of the yellow to move it. I don't I don't see yeah. that as a. All right. I just don't know. I just don't. I don't understand the. the I don't understand the broom either. Yeah, it's very narrow. I got to throw a touch left and hack. So he needs to have a he needs like a good solid four foot shot here, to uh, to keep this game going. Wait, looks uh, plenty of weight. heavy. No, he's going to run her. And he'll run it past. And I that think that's what he was trying for, though. Uh, I don't know what that would have done for him. Well, so if he would have hit that thing squarely, it would have come back and mopped the, take the yellow out, I would have thought. But yeah, so. Good game. Well, we're all done here. Uh, draw seven. Uh, Wilbur, Wilbur, Wilbur takes the uh, takes the win. Yeah. Uh, Wisconsin defeats Fargo in a battle of the ages. Wilbur over Hodek. Very entertaining uh, two morning matches. So thank you, Dennis, for oh, thank coming you very much, Chris. I appreciate it. Uh, putting in your time. I, I, punch I, I the I time card on the way out. <laughs> I love the opportunity. You yep. take care and thanks good for luck all the do you support you do to support Jordan and I and yeah. the stuff we do.
Yeah, you guys are great. And we'll uh, and thanks for uh, inviting me back to the 40 plus. Yeah. I will promise to do a better job this year. You did just fine. We had a great we had a great run last year, and we'll do it again this year. But we'll uh, hopefully we'll see you later this weekend. All right. Take bye care, bye. Chris. Bye. Yep.